been bound by these shackles and chains A man of convictions, damn these addictions Just can't be tamed So lately I'm drowning my pain With a bottle of Mary Jane Coming down a back road, a cloud of fat Somebody said took you long enough Yo, I could have just knock on live, buddy You realize that, right? Like, I appreciate everybody that comes to my stream early, but when you, like, bug out when I'm, like, 10 minutes late, like, I could just not go live. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, I could just not go live. I could just, I, and then you would just be sitting here for, for hours on end. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Sunday? It's a react day today. Dub in the chat for that. I still have the stomach virus. F. F in the chat for that. Tiptoe for the two gifteds. Random for the sub. Jack for the sub. Seb for the two subs and pick for the nine month sub, eleven month sub total. Dub. Um, you know, I still got the stomach virus. It was good as fuck last night. Um, I was macking food and I was like, wow, I feel great. And then I'm about like a thousand calories in, right? Like I've eaten like maybe ten peanut butter crackers. I've eaten like two protein bars. And some chicken and rice, right? And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I haven't eaten almost anything in two days. And I just ate a thousand calories in 15 minutes. I don't know how smart of an idea that was. You know what I mean? Because when you have a stomach virus and you're not eating, your stomach's actually starting to shrink and you're not really used to eating food. And so I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to be buckled into this ride. And so at 4 a.m., guess what? I wake up and I fucking shit my brains out on the toilet for fucking an hour and a half. And then I fucking pass out and do the same damn thing. Somebody said, Joe, smoke weed. I'm not smoking today. No. PC for the sub. Sticky for the sub. Hassan for the sub. Haunted in the seven for the sub. Peaks for the sub. And Abby for the sub as well. Uh, but yeah, we got a bunch of fucking reacts today. Uh, we're not watching a Darman video to start off. Uh, we're a Darman-esque, but we are starting out with some cut videos. Get Men guess how many people women have slept with. Revealing my feelings to my secret crush. The real cost of owning a private island. Found tracking device underground. The most horrid, horrific, and scary death in human history. New Zealand today. Karen wants her $20 back. How much money Mr. Beast makes. And then a short horror film. Uh, we might have some more videos that we could actually react to, depending on how long it takes us to get through these. But those are the reacts for today. W for that. And Xander Witch. I can't scream because I'm losing my fucking voice because I made TikToks yesterday. Xander, thank you for the fifth. Fuck, I'm losing my eye. Bro, I'm, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Xander, thank you for the 50 gifted subs. Dumb in the chat for that. Thank you for the 50 gifted. Xander Witch. I'm sorry I'm not ecstatic right now. I'm sick. I'm losing my voice. I genuinely thank you for the subs. But I'm not going to be fucking screaming and running around today because I am very lethargic. But thank you for the 50 fucking gifteds. I genuinely appreciate that. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. Your mom for the sub, Mia for the sub, Anna for the 350 bits. My house caught on fire. Damn. We put it out and we found out it was under the gas price. Under the gas price? What do you mean under the gas price? XD for the 300 bits. I have a soccer game later. Good luck. Uh, and Xander, again, thank you for the 50 gifteds, bro. That is fucking nuts. It's your boy for the 300 bitties. Wanted to ask you, uh, because my friend keeps arguing with me, are pandas bears? Yes. Are pandas bears, chat? Yeah, right? D for the 300 bitties. Uh, DRG for the sub. Mike for the 300 bits. Day after you got the stomach virus, I got the flu. F. Dude, I would honestly rather have the flu, though. I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to compare, like, illnesses. I'm not trying to, like, compare illnesses here and be like, damn, my shit's worse. But I would rather have the flu. I would rather, 
I've had the stomach virus twice. What about cancer? Well, I mean, yeah, no, I would, I would rather not have cancer. But, um, yeah, no, outside of the stomach virus, the flu, I feel like I would handle the flu better. Because the stomach virus is just, it's just so, it's so annoying. The flu, you just feel like shit. This, bro, I've pooped. I Like, yo, and I'm, this is going to be a TMI here, but my asshole is like a battleground, okay? Uh, it's so, it's so beat up, right? It's so beat up. It's, it, 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 it's just, it's, I can't wipe my ass. It hurts to wipe my ass because, I, I mean, I still do because I'm not going to have shit in my ass, but like, bro, when I shit, it's like raw. It's like raw, bro. Because proof, yeah, fuck out of here, weirdo shit. Proof, the fuck? Xander for the 3,000 fucking biddies too. Oh my god, it's the pegging? It's not the pegging, dickhead. Fucking asshat, it's not the pegging. It's because I've shit fucking 45 times in the last two days. Rai Rai for the 350 bits. Having the best week. Oh, good for you. My crush asked me to be his girlfriend on uh, Valentine's Day. Passed my permit test on Friday, and yesterday I went to a private Bruno Mars concert. Dub. Rex for the sub. Anna for the 300 bitties. Under the gas pipes. Oh, okay. x for the sub. Uh, lucky for the 300 bits. How's your Sunday going? Uh, all right as of right now, other than the fact that I'm sick. Ayana for the sub. The Shade Link for the 300 bitties. XD for the 300 bits. Uh, and Mia for the sub. All right, Paul for the sub. Are you guys ready to get into the fucking reactions? Somebody said, Joe, you're such a cutie patootie. What the fuck? Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. You never, you never see me? Bro, what is with people, like, crying when I don't see their chats? Like, you realize I'm reading as many chats as I can. Hit the cart, Zaza. That doesn't even make logical sense. Hit the cart, Zaza. Fucking, hit the Zaza cart. Uh, hit the cart, Zaza. That's, uh, what are you, Yoda? Tiptoe for the 300 bits. Saying it's not the pegging instead of I don't get pegged means you confirmed it. I don't get pegged. Bro, oh my god. Would I allow it to happen one time? Who knows? I mean... <laughs> lock in. Lock in. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Men, guess how many people women have slept with. Oh, shit. I didn't even, re I didn't even start from How the many beginning. baby daddies you got? Why is that so fucking low quality? Oh, it's just the intro. Whatever. We'll start here. We asked men to guess how many sexual partners women have had. Hello. Hi there. My name's Bob. I've got a wonderful wife and three uh, mostly grown boys. Do you know what you're doing here today? Bob has the worst sex ever. I already know it. I already know it. Look at him. Mostly grown boys. Do you know what you're doing My here? name's Bob. I have a wonderful wife named Linda. Why are you being mean? I'm not being mean. I don't. That is kind of mean. Okay. It was kind of mean. My bad. Oh, shoot. Today. Why are you being mean, though? Like, motherfucker coming to my stream like you haven't been here before. Why are you being mean? You're a fucking 10-month sub in my chat. Like, you haven't fucking watched my streams before. Seski for the sub. Rock for the sub. You're going to, from a line of women, guess how many people each of them have slept with. <laughs> Okay. How comfortable are you speaking openly with women about sex? Oh, 100. How are you going to go about this? I mean, I'm a bit of a player, so oh. I might be able to sniff out a fellow hoe. Here's a list. If you call yourself a player, you're not a player. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to say that right now. If you say you pull, you don't pull. Like, that's just how it is, right? If you're like, no cap, he's in his fucking, he's got that dumbass so necklace on. I might be able to. What are, are those pearls? But he's got a pearl necklace on. If you got a pearl necklace on, this fucking borderline Hawaiian shirt, fuck, whatever the fuck those dad shoes looking shits are, but he's dripped out, he is not dripped out. So. No lie, uh, I kind of pull, so I think I'm going to be able to sniff out a fellow hoe. What the fuck? I might be able to sniff out a fellow hoe. Here's a list. I'm going to... 300! 300. Like, that's like... Bro, I'm not even going to shame motherfuckers for the body count. But, like, that's like that's like hard to do. 
Like, sleeping with, like, that many, like, bro, me, like, even 35 and less, like, I could, I could be like, okay, right? But, like, how do you, how do you fucking sleep with 300 people? Like, that's, like, a task. D4 for the fucking five-inch bitties. What type of OnlyFans model is this? We got a virgin in the midst. Okay, then there's a 16. 16 might be average, unless you're a hoe. Are all these numbers going with somebody, or did y'all give me more numbers then? There's two floaters in there. Ah, oh, I hate that. Let's go get our What gal. does two floaters in there mean? Does that mean there's people that don't have numbers? Somebody, or did y'all give me more numbers then? There's two floaters in there. What does that mean? What does two floaters mean? Two ones that are wrong. Okay, so two of these ha aren't real. Two inch for the three inch bitties. Says as, bro, my God, here we go. He's going to talk about fucking 2007 Megan Fox, and it's not even going to show up. This is two inches message. Joe, as a fellow Rizzler, I'm not going to lie. 2007 Megan Fox can do whatever she wants to me. Holy shit, she's so goddamn fine. I would let her peg me and cut. I'm not even going to read the rest of that. Ducky for the sub. Bro, two, what is with people's obsessions with two? It's like our generation's obsession with 2007 Megan Fox. Like, was she that attractive? Like, like Transformers, Megan Fox. Like, I'm not saying she's ugly, but like, bro, regular, like, like she, like motherfuckers acting like she's like a, a, a Greek goddess. She looks like a, I would say she looks better now than she did then. Xenon for the five gifteds. And bro, Xander again, thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. I don't know if you're still here, bro. Motherfucker saying mommy. Jesus Christ. No, she looks better now. Than she did then? For sure. Oh, I hate that. Let's go get our couch. <laughs> this is really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna get worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly. Initial thoughts? Some are cute. I want to know the questions Bob's about to ask to arrive at his fucking body count answer. So, what is your favorite position during uh, intercourse? Would you like to start? Uh, hi, uh, what's what your name? body positioning do you likely prefer while doing said dirty? Nisha. Nisha, I'm Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Nice oh, to God, meet you. shaking the hand. So, uh, <laughs> huh. So, um, how do I put this? Do you, uh, quote unquote, pull? If you saw me in a bar setting or maybe at the club, how would you approach me? I would make eye contact. Mm. Stare at the lips, make them feel nervous, stare back at the eyes, and then look away. And then if oh they want God. to come. This is the classic fucking 10 meter away distance. You should pick up that I want you. Guys don't get that. You don't. <laughs> What's your favorite sexual position? <laughs> Bro, I'm so glad I have a girlfriend. Like that interaction right there just aggravated me. How do you how do you pick somebody up at a at a fucking club and she just described a strategy of like looking at somebody and then looking away and then you have to like determine whether or not they're into you or oh my god that's way too fucking complicated. Oh that's so fucking complicated. And she's sitting there like, "Oh, well the guy should know. The guy ain't gonna know. I'm gonna keep it real with you. The guy ain't gonna fucking catch on that." Bro, I'm so happy I got a girlfriend, bro. Fuck, like, I would never be able to deal with that shit. So you put your feet behind your head? Oh, she a freak freak. <laughs> Show us how you throw it back. Throw it back, 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 back. <laughs> throw it back, 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 <laughs> Based on how she just threw it back, I'm going to guess her body count is four. Are you straight? Okay. Is it that kind of a diss? Is it that kind of a diss? Because that's like the second lowest number. <laughs> he went, hey! Based on how she threw it back, I'm going to give her a two. <laughs> Fucking buddy moves on. Okay. I am parasexual. Okay. Some of these numbers are not real. I mean, I'm just maybe guessing 300 plus is, that would be difficult. That's real. Anyway, so I guarantee you that one's real. You would think that would be the fake one, but that's the real one. You want to guess, because I'm wasting time, because I'm nervous. 
16. Yeah. 16? Okay. I'll just give you a two. <laughs> Bob's starting to sweat. Here you go. Thank you. Two. Just the, what you're giving off. What I'm giving does it, off. It doesn't give off a high number. Uh, you know, it's not giving off a high number because, you know, I do pull. And coming from, uh, coming from a fellow hoe, I'm not getting that vibe from you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Sapphire. Sapphire. Who? Sapphire. <laughs> Honestly, Sapphire sounds like... Is that a real name, though? Or is that like name. a stage yeah. name? Do you have an OnlyFans? Yeah. <laughs> it's a stage name. It's a stage name. <laughs> what does her physical appearance give you? What kind of vibe? Uh... <laughs> ferociously attractive. Uh, it's, is that okay? <laughs> ferociously attractive? What the fuck? What vibes are you getting, Bob? Well, I'm getting a, I'm getting a nervous sweat going down my brow. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to go into heat slightly. I'm getting pretty aroused by Sapphire. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, what? Oh my God, he's so nervous. Why is he so nervous? What are you asking? <laughs> How often? Yo, he ha he's bought her OnlyFans. He has to have. It's like he knows her. When do you color your hair? Every two or three months. A girl that changes up her hairstyle pretty often usually indicates some underlying stuff. <laughs> I don't want to say like mentally unstable, but like they typically get around a little bit more. So. Mm, okay. What's your sexual orientation? I feel like I feel like changing the hair color is less indicative of getting around a lot comparable to having a stage name and an OnlyFans. Because that means you might have sex as work. And so you would have more bodies. Am I wrong? Like, it's your job. Bisexual. Bisexual. So do boys and girls count for your body count? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that raises the bar. So I'm gonna guess 70. I'll go 70. 70. I don't think I'll torture you by asking you why. I wouldn't be able to give anybody 300. Like, how would you be like, yeah, you've you've done it almost every day of the year? It's gonna let you have it. <laughs> uh, you got somebody in there? This will be my third and fourth, babies. You're gonna be at least- See, that's a question I would never ask someone on the offshoot chance that they're not pregnant. You know what I mean? You got somebody in there? No. Like, that could go so fucking bad. Oh, uh, what's, what, uh, do you have a name for him yet? What do you mean? What do you mean? You're a kid, right? I'm not pregnant. Oh. The one. Are you more comfortable because you know I'm pregnant? It definitely. You know, I'm used to. Well, used I mean, if she's pregnant, that's going to eliminate the zero to being around unless it was inseminated that could be a fucking that could be a curveball that could be an ultimate curveball she's pregnant but she's never had sex women who are clearly committed already mm. committed to making babies or what yo bob is so fucking awkward this man is like fucking shaking clearly committed already mm. Committed to... Look at that! What the fuck is that? Look at the camera! Who are clearly committed already. Mm. Committed to... Women who are <laughs> clearly committed. <laughs> like, bro, fucking... What the hell are you doing? To... Making babies, or what part of me is <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Are your other two children from the same dad? No. Okay, now I've made you angry, I'm sorry. Um, how many baby daddies Yo, you got? Yo, he is literally just saying what he's thinking. There are some things you cannot say, Bob. You could just, you could just not say that. Like, now you're being so awkward. All right, looks like I pissed her off. Like, you're right next to her. Three. Okay, so you like sex. <laughs> no shade. No judgment. How's your relationship with your father? It's really good. Ladies that don't have a great relationship with either parents, they get around a little bit more. I'm going to go with 16. He watches sex tutorials. 
He has to. Everything he's saying is just stereotypical shit. Uh, when they don't have a good relationship with their father, that usually means they get around. When they change their hair color, that means they're uh, mentally unstable. What? What kind of porn do you watch? Or they just dye their hair. CNC. <laughs> What's CNC? Uh, consensual non-consent. What's that mean? Play rape. Yeah. Uh-uh. That's all consent. Uh-uh. 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 Ain't never doing that. Ain't never doing that. Nope. I ain't give a fuck if they're into that. People that are into that, y'all, I'll kink shame on that one. I'm not even gonna kink shame, right? It's your shit. Never, I'm not, I'm never, I'm never getting into that. I'm never getting into that. Because even if they're, even if they're into it, you're actively acting like you're raping them. Like that's not, why would anyone want to do that? Consensual. Okay. I don't give a fuck if it's consensual. You're acting like it's not. Do black people watch that? <laughs> you do? And that's also how you get in a bind. Right, like that, like oh, oh, yeah, no. Let's act like it's not consensual. Uh, no, <laughs> no. All right, so based on <laughs> the type of porn you watch, okay, I was at eighty-three, nine, eighty-three. If you two children already. It seems like there wouldn't be a great deal of extra spare time to have too many more. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you a lesbian? No. Oh. <laughs> A lot of I would be more open to somebody peeing on me than doing that. I'm being genuine. I'm being so genuine. The 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 fucking the the plague rape shit. No. Uh. Uh. I would rather have somebody pee on me, just because I would be like like I wouldn't enjoy either of them. But like I wouldn't feel bad about somebody peeing on me. You know? Okay. A lot, bro. Okay. All the motherfuckers saying ew. That means you're saying you would rather do the other one. Like, no. If I had to do that, I would, I would, even if they were into it, I would still feel awful. Like, no. People think but that. not shitting? Well, I would just never, I would never do either of those scenarios. I wouldn't want to say that I would have somebody, like, somebody shitting on your chest. Yeah, no, even then. Yeah, probably that, too. Oh, God, I would wipe that off immediately, though. Somebody shits on my chest, I'd probably stand up and just, like, fucking throw it off. Oh, God, I'd probably throw up on the spot. No, stop. All right, let's move on. Though. Okay. But no, I'm not. Wow. Yeah. Why do they think that? <laughs> I dress. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We're on the same page. You I remember being in like fifth grade and watching like Two Girls One Cup for the first time. My friend showed me it in class. I remember almost throwing up there. I thought it was pudding at first. I remember act. I I genuinely remember watching it. I was in my science class. I was in my science class. I was standing at a lab table. We were doing like some potato spud experiment. And he pulls out his phone and he like turns it sideways. He's like, bro, look. And we're just like watching it. And I'm like, damn, like, are they eating pudding or some shit? And he's like, no. It was fucking shit. Well put together. You don't give off like post ho vibes. I'm going to go with. I'm glad to inform you the video's fake. Yeah, I read something about that. Nine. Nine. Four. I'm getting this vibe like you're, you're not going to mess with anybody just for entertainment you you would want to you know be meaningful i guess you're strictly dickly mostly mostly dickly 300 plus this is not okay i i still love me after giving you things. i'm not offended <laughs> okay good 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 hello oh, what brings you Bro, what if they give the 300 plus to the virgin that would be nuts this. or vice versa yeah. oh, well, duh. <laughs> she looks really innocent but then she looked like she ain't. It's the titties out for me. <laughs> the titties is outside. How old are you? Uh, 18. 18? If you're a little older, i maybe ask for your number, but... You just don't have to say that. You just don't have... Just don't even bring it up. Oh my god. If you're, if, you know, if you're a little, if you're like, if you're like my age, but like, bro, just like, just like move on. Okay. And then continue the conversation. You're playing a game. You're not trying to, bro, bro's trying to actively get with the women in the game. Like, what are you doing? He's trying to hit on the virgin, bro. I don't think she's the virgin. None of them might be virgins. They said two of the numbers are fake. So she got. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty old. <laughs> bro's trying to pull. Like, for no reason. Like, just play the game. Look at me. 
You called me old? Bro, you know damn well he's that one guy that puts lotion on his face five times a day because he's terrified of looking old. That's him. But he, but he actively does the face scrub. Do you feel comfortable asking her what kind of porn she watches? Comfortable would be a stretch. <laughs> Bob has not been comfortable this entire fucking episode. Okay? So I don't know. I don't even know why you're asking him if he's comfortable. He's actively shitting his pants. I mean, I'll ask. What kind of porn do you like to watch? The porn directed by women. Uh, how, how do you... Yo, imagine somebody says that shit. Yo, what porn do you like to watch? Mm, you know, Simpson shit. <laughs> Maybe, mainly family guy. Mainly family guy type stuff. I can't... No. Is it in the uh, credits or something? Yeah, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. She like her body. She obviously like her titties. Fortnite stuff, you know. <laughs> she got on a skirt and her titties out. Okay. That so means my friend sent me an article. You know, like the fifth most searched category of like animated shit is Fortnite porn. Who the fuck is looking that up? Who the fuck is looking that up? Like, no, they have, like, a whole ranking. You can, like, look at the statistics of, like, what video games are searched most often. And I think number one was, like, Valorant and League. Like, League, Valorant, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Minecraft. Minecraft? Like, that shit's... I'm about to look this up. I don't know if this is a safe website that I'm clicking here. These are the most searched video game characters on 2022 in Pornhub. Most searched for video games. Guess what number one is? I was wrong. Guess what number one is? Fortnite. Fortnite, Overwatch, Genshin, Minecraft, Pokemon, Cyberpunk, Summertime Saga, League, Val, Resident Evil. Who the fuck is searching Resident Evil? Apex, GTA, Roblox, Mortal Kombat, Skyrim, Among Us, Splatoon, Final Fantasy, COD, Cuphead, Street Fighter, and Mass Effect. That's fucking whack. That's fucking whack. And she probably liked the best of Among Us. Among Us. Among Us and Roblox. What, what the fuck? In a little bit. Cuphead's <laughs> less weird. Bring me 16. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Maintain eye contact. <laughs> Maintain eye contact. Don't want to have Linda upset with me tonight. She's cooking meatloaf. She won't let me eat it if she sees this. Oh, don't look. Oh, don't look. My name's Rainbow. Rambo? No. <laughs> Rainbow. Oh, Rainbow. Yeah. Is that a content name? My mom literally just named me Rainbow. Oh, I love it. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Coach, when you were 19, what was your number? Like, Hello? they can't, even if they're doing shit, they can't be, like, her and her can't be the 300 plus. Because, like, you're not, like, you don't have enough eight, you don't have enough time in life. To be able to rack up those numbers. You were 19. What was your number? I lost my virginity at 19. Oh. Yeah, I was a late bloomer. Mm. Yeah, you you mm, was. But the way she scolded at that. Hmm. <laughs> you would be surprised, but bro, how do you rack up those numbers that quick? Even if you started doing it at a younger age, that shit's fucking, bro. Like 300? Nah. <laughs> how do you feel about your number? Do you want to increase it? I don't really care. Yo. Yo. This bro. Duh, yo. About my number, I feel like it. See, that's why he says he pulls, right? Because his, his fucking, his, his shot percentage is so low. But his shot rate is so high. You know what I mean? Like, he's shooting 5,000 times. He's hitting 10. But, like, bro. 
It's just a number. You take your added. <laughs> I heard that too. <laughs> what? What? What is my it? My tip? I heard tit. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 300 plus. Why not? Why? It's the crystals. Okay. And it's the. She's chest. a freshman or sophomore in college, though. 300. I mean, maybe if she's going to the fucking frat parties, but like, damn. Ted. I'm going to go with one. I think you might be that defy expectations type of person. How was that for you? It was fun. I think I at least got one. Let's find out. Raise your hand if he guessed it correctly. Damn. Damn, the fucking Rizzler. The Rizzler got no one. Let's find out. Raise your hand if he guessed it correctly. Nobody, yeah. <laughs> 300 plus! Nah! Nah! Wow, just one. I'm gonna have everyone swap their number. Okay. You're a virgin? <laughs> wow! Wow. <laughs> what caught you off guard there? Uh, the 300. I mean, that's in that's impressive. <laughs> Can I ask you a question first? Why of did course. you think I had 16? Because the pansexual thing, I, I just thought it would be a little bit higher number. Are you mad that I guessed 16? I am not. I don't I think that's bad reasoning. Because if you are pansexual, you're open, you, your, your array of people that you can get with is way higher than if you're straight, bisexual, you know what I mean? You could get with anybody. I actually kind of wish I was that experienced. Can I give you a hug? Thank sure. you for guessing. <laughs> Bob's really sweaty. She gives him a, she gives him a hug. He's got the fucking biggest pit stains ever. He's just got like back sweat running down his fucking shirt. He's just so nervous. Why did course. you think I had 16? Because the pansexual thing, I, I just thought it would be a little bit higher number. Are you mad that I guessed 16? I, I think, <laughs> do you think that fits me, 16? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> so what made you think I was 70? <sighs> you look like maybe you'd want to have a lot of partners. Me giving you 70, was it kind of offensive a um, little bit? No, I took it as a compliment. <laughs> wow, I love that. Oh, thank you. 70. 70, I don't even have. This is my natural hair Not color. surprised. Off and of off of, off of her, her favorite kink thing? Nah. 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 I like yeah. my dad. Yeah. I think you can just really like to fuck. Yeah, agreed. I made some false assumptions, I think, about being pregnant and the, you know, sort of Suburban mom, look you up going on. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. There's a lot of really hot suburban moms. Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> you can tell the ones he's into because he gets really nervous. Like he was comfortable around her. He gets so nervous around her. Around Sapphire. Bob fucking starts shit in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my number? <laughs> <laughs> Holy balls. Yeah. What'd you do to accomplish that? Um, I went through like a period where like I just kind of wanted to like have a roster of pretty boys and then occasionally it was like girls. I just had Bro, when I was getting my tat, I didn't even tell y'all this story. When I was getting my tattoo, like the ones on my legs that I got last week, I'm sitting there getting tattooed and one of the other artists is talking to the girl that's tattooing me. And he's actively talking about how he had sex with <laughs> two siblings and the mother. <laughs> I, I forgot to tell y'all this. I'm sitting there. He's fucking tattooing. Bro, he, or she's tattooing me. He's talking about like, he's like, yeah, I got with this. I got with this girl and then I got with his sis or her sister and then I got with a mom and I was like, bro, like you slept, you might as well sleep with a dad at that point. You might as well get the whole family down then. And she was, and he said, he said that when he was sleeping with the mom, he asked when the dad was going to be home and the mom said, don't worry about it. And so he was like, oh, the dad's like into cuck shit. Like the dad would have came home and been into it. I was like, oh, God. 
Like, this is just not, like, for a how. A whole family. And then he started talking about how he's, like, there's this, like, orgy club he thought about being a part of. I was like, fuck. Like, apparently there's, like, orgy clubs everywhere. Like, he was, he was telling me about it. He was like, yeah, no, you don't know about it, but, like, every city has a club. I'm like, what? A lot of fun in my 20s. I love that. So, With men and women. Yeah. I really like my boyfriend, so I kind of hope that. Yeah, like, like swingers. Like old people. Oh, that he'll be forever. Bro, that's nuts. Swingers? Do y'all know what a swinger is? Yeah. 300 is. Well, you're married, and so you're, like, a lot of swingers will, will it'll be like, uh, like, say, six couples. And they'll go out to eat. And they'll throw their keys in a bowl. And at the end of the night, they'll, the wife, the wives will just grab people's keys. And whoever's keys they grab is whoever's husband they sleep with. I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, nah. Like, I'm not fucking, bro, because then your wife's, like, nah, that's just so whack. Like, bro, you're literally, you're just actively okay with cheating. You're lying? No, that's a thing. Because it's not cheating because they're okay with it. But they're married, but they're actively sleeping with other people. Yeah, we're done. Plus one. <laughs> Does this number surprise you? A little bit, I guess. Yeah. You're attracting attention with the, the your your the way you dress. Does that mean she wants to have sex? <laughs> no. So what do you count as body count? I just don't count oral. Okay. Or else it'd be, it'd be hot. Bro's actively bro's actively staring at a ceiling. Bro, if I'm walking, yo, y'all, if I'm ever walking behind a woman, I will purposefully stare at the ground because I don't want to, like, if I'm looking forward, I don't want them to think that I'm looking at them. So I'll purposely, like, just stare directly at the floor because I'm, like, so nervous. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I don't want them to think because, like, I'm not going to look at them like that. But I don't want to. I don't want to be staring straight and them to like turn around and be like, "Oh, he's looking at me like that." So like, no, I'll literally like stare straight at the ground. I'll stare straight at the ground, or I'll like, I'll like purposefully just sit on my phone. Same. Yeah, I feel like most people do that just because you don't want to be rude and you don't want to like, even though you're not perp even though you're not being rude, even if you were looking straight, you don't want them to think that you were being weird. Yeah, I think it's just a respect thing. Insane for the sub Adam for the uh, thousand biddies. I lived in New Jersey for eight years and moved to Georgia. I wanted uh, to know your favorite thing in New Jersey. Mine was the boardwalks. Bro, I don't even really have a favorite thing in New Jersey. New Jersey's just kind of New Jersey. I mean, the boardwalks are nice, but I mean, they're not like the best thing ever. I would say the boardwalks, maybe Six Flags. Tiptoe for the three jibbities. I'm guilty of Mortal Kombat searches. It's one of my top searches. Aussie for the three inch bets. We have a group of people that are swingers that come into my work and eat, and then they go to a party and they do it together. That's an orgy. Mourns and dress for the sublope for the three inch bets. I would gladly participate in two girls, one cup if 2000 Megan Fox was in it. Stop. Frog and Wester for the sub. Amazing for the sub. Kira for the three inch bets. I would let Mike Tyson his prime beat the shit out of me so I could get with Sapphire to spit on my face. Bro. Justin Brown, 8 bit for the sub. Soggy for the three inch bets. Michael for the three inch bets. Uh, ain't no way motherfucker just called Lava Girl attractive. She doesn't look like Lava Girl. Dan for the sub, Zeno for the 500 bets. I've been thinking in philosophy, what if God is really evil because he takes the souls of the dead and makes heaven seem like a great place, but in reality, God is evil and Satan realized this to try and stop God, but God didn't like that, so that's why he banished him. I mean, a different, uh, it's a different theory, but there's like, there are people that think that the Old Testament God is the New Testament devil because they refer to Lucifer as morning star. And in the Bible, they refer to Jesus as morning star. So a lot of people try to say that the Old Testament God is the New Testament devil and they flip-flopped. Whether or not, I, like, I'm not even going to get on whether or not I believe that, but yeah. Foss for the sub, Alpha for the 300 bits. All the people that sleep at 300 plus, uh, but they're always fat. No, they're not. And what? Bro, I'm literally about to play this. Yo, this is just rude. I'm like, I'm not even, yeah, it's not even going to play because it's just fucking rude. I'm not even going to read, I'm not even going to read what he said, bro. What the fuck? Uh, Aussie for the 300 bets. And won't let me type that word because you have banned. Won't let me type what word? Uh, oh, orgy. Well, yeah, orgy's a banned word in my chat. CJ, Z, and sub for the sub. Okay. 
<laughs> she said, I suck a lot of dick, okay? Well, the only thing I'd say no to- Somebody said, LMAO, yeah, religion, not my thing. No, I like talking about religion and philosophy in general, but I mean, like, I'm not a, I'm not going to get into the theories of whether Morning Star is, is, is Jesus or Lucifer and they flip-flopped or some shit, because I'm not Christian, so, like, the theory isn't needed for me. To is, like, the sex part, because I never want to regret- Mm -hmm. It can be something you regret, for real. Because even at 19, I regretted it. Everybody was calling me a prude, and I was <laughs> like, ah, okay, fine. So don't be a victim of that, okay? Just do it when you want it and make sure that he, they, them, her is as special as they can be. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> you gave me 300. I know. You had like a few left. It was uh... you, 83. You could have given me 83. You guess pretty well for me. Okay. The job I have, most people guess a lot higher. So are you in sales or what, what kind of? <laughs> Yo, Bob's a fucking idiot. I, are you in sales? Do you work in retail? <laughs> it's like Hooters. It's called Twin Peaks, but it's a little <laughs> bit more Clever. Twin Peaks. I get it. Yeah, Twin Peaks. <laughs> works at Hooters. My girlfriend works at Hooters. Winner for the sub. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, <laughs> I'm relieved that we're done. Uh, <laughs> if everyone feels comfortable, can we do a little group hug? Bro, or... there's a lot of people that will like comment on my shit or they'll comment under, under Brooks TikToks and they'll at me and they're like, bro, you okay with this? And it's always some fucking dweeb. It's always some fucking dweeb. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Bro, you okay? Bro, you okay with your, your GF working at Hooters? Bro, you okay with your girlfriend posting this? Yeah. Because I'm not insecure. It's her job. And she can post whatever. But, bro, at, at Joe Bartolozzi. Bro, if I were you, I wouldn't let this happen. Click on their profile. They have Roblox fucking edits. Like, buddy, you're 10 years old. Like, figure it the fuck out. Evie for the sub. Logan for the 300 bets. Uh, the people who have 300 plus on these videos count everything and not just straight fucking like everybody else who has standard body counts. Uh, you're saying like they'll count kisses and shit? I don't think they are. I think there's people that, when they say 300 plus, I think they actually have. Evie for the sub. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> But basically, Bob, Bob just had a panic attack right there. All right, let's move on to the next one. Revealing my feelings to my secret crush. Truth or drink? This says for me to tell you that I have a crush on you. Oh. Oh, it's so awkward. People must ask each other a set of uncomfortable questions. They can either answer or take a shot. Hi. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> my name is Shivan. I'm Muhammad. My name is Sanaya, and I am here to share my secret crush. Do they have any idea why they're here today? No. I told him that we're coming on for truth or drink friends. How long have you had a crush on this person? Sometime, maybe like a year. We've known each other for about three weeks. Uh, we met in college. She dated one of my best friends for like a year and a half. Does your best friend know? Not really. <laughs> it's always so awkward when your friends get with people you've been with or vice versa. I'm going to say don't go down that path. Don't go down that path. You've been, yo, 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 your friend, been, yeah, it's just like, even it might work out, but it's like, uh. What made you pick? You already watched this. Yo, I love when motherfuckers say that because I've literally never watched a truth or drink at all. Cut has like a hundred truth or drinks. I've never seen one of them. On stream, off stream, never. No, I haven't. I've never watched this video. I have never watched this video. Like, I don't know if you guys live in a different universe and the Mandela effect is taking place or we merged universes and alternate universe me watched this, but I've never seen this. If you could show me a clip of me watching this video before today, I will give you $100 because you're dead fucking wrong because you're pissing me fucking off. It's on your, it's on your YouTube. Uh, Joe Bartolozzi, truth or drink? Joe Bartolozzi argues about weed and alcohol. 
the time I drank my own urine. Cut video. 16-year-old get, still gets breastfed. And it's nothing of the sorts because you're fucking wrong. It got taken down. I would know if my own YouTube video got taken down. Right now. I've been scary for long enough, so I might as well shoot my Y'all are literally just trying to gaslight me. <laughs> I'm going to bring her in. Are you nervous? Did that one kid ever find the clip when he swore to God? Yeah, no. Did that one kid ever find the clip? That dumbass that swore to God that I, that I reacted to that one video before? No. He went dead silent. He went radio silent. Radio silent. Every motherfucker ever. You seen this video before? No, I haven't. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you find it. Ain't ever hear from them again. Ain't ever hear from them again. You know why? Because they're fucking dead wrong. Nah. Should there I are scenarios where I've started a video and I'm like, damn, I actually have seen this. But I won't disagree with my chat then. I'll be like, oh, I don't know. I have never seen this. Hello. Hi. This is already so awkward. You're inviting your secret crush. You've never told them that you're into them. And then you're on camera with alcohol. And you're going to fucking admit to them that you like them. Like, they can't just be like, oh, this is weird. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. I'm Vanessa. I'm Uriah. We have to shoot the drink. Friends edition. How do you two know each other? We weirdly Ooh, met. Buddy intro with friends edition. Yikes. Through my ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Do you still talk to that boyfriend? No. I just like a clean break. <laughs> Before we start, do you want to just take a shot? Yes, please. Sure. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Cheers. What are my green flags? The fact that you are kind of down for whatever, and um, it's really easy to communicate with you. Any green flags in me? Anything? You're always coming up with cool things to do. Any green flags of me? Um, not really. Um, so that's fun. Works hand in hand. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I was like following you on Instagram, I was like, oh shit, she be modeling and stuff. Come to find out, you do music too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I like people that are like multifaceted, kind of like myself. So <laughs> I think you have a great smile. Aww. I think you have a good laugh. I really like the way that you like talk and tell stories. I think it's Ew. very engaging. Oh my gosh. That's such a good compliment. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be such an awkward fucking watch. This is going to be a rough watch, chat. Let's buckle down. I'm going to sit. I'm going to slump into my chair. I, yo, I already know this is going to be bad. Because they're all just, they're already, they're trying to actively flirt. And, like, you can tell that the friend is kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I just love listening to you speak. Hey. What are my toxic traits? Oh, um. <laughs> Why does it seem easy for you? Okay. You... Listen to Christmas music year round. Oh yeah, that is toxic. Yeah. <laughs> Not taking no as an answer. That's fair. I, I I understand like the the want to like keep your hopes up, but like sometimes like a no is just a no. Yeah. I've been oh my God! What if he's told her that she that he's liked her before? Oh no. Oh no been working on improving but obviously like it's a it's, it's a, a long process yeah. yeah it like takes time recognition is the first yeah thing. yeah <laughs> how good are you in bed sell me on your skills i'm gonna say i'm a 10 for sure <laughs> oh you know what i'm gonna just take a shot <laughs> i think these two are the only ones that are gonna get together i think these two i think these two will match i think i you like especially because it i don't know and I think it is a social construct and it's worse because, but I, I do think it's just how it happens. I think the girl admitting they like the guy is less awkward than the guy admitting they like the girl. I don't think it should be that way, but I think because the other two people admitting to the woman that they like them, it's going to be much more awkward. So, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to just take a shot. You don't want to give yourself any credit? I know, this is like nah. your, your time to just boast. That's not my vibe, though. Fair. So, what is your best position, then, if you don't want to answer that question? I would say, like, the reverse doggy. And then, um, you know, because I, like I like the hair pull, you get a nice little, like, like kind of handle grip. That way, you know, no slips. Okay. I'm a really big fan of getting girls out. I think it is super sexy when somebody is, like, very clearly 
having a great time and just screaming. Oh, he's trying too hard. He's trying too hard. I just really like eating girls out, you know? I just like pleasuring them, you know? I don't really care about myself. I just want the girl to be happy. Like, okay. Like, yes, you could say you like, you could say you like eating somebody out, but like, bro, come on. Like, 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 you don't gotta give like some fucking paragraph reasoning. Underneath you, and I don't think <laughs> that anybody will ever complain about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Graphic word to use, but okay. Bro said chill. What do you mean chill? What did I do? What are your turn-ons? This is getting more and more awkward. Yo, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch this whole video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch this whole video. Is this going on YouTube? Dude, if this goes on YouTube, it's definitely getting demonetized. I, it's, de it's definitely... <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Now we're already halfway through almost. All right, everybody, lock in. We're gonna fucking we're gonna we're gonna buckle into this one. Oh, gotta crack the neck. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I like a person that's very sure of themselves and their direction in life. Ambition, family oriented, being a supporter. Like I have big goals, so if you can't, you know, like see the big picture with me, then you know it ain't gonna work. So. A great smile, somebody who takes care of themselves, fit. Something about shoulders, especially, mm. and like a strong back. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Rate my attractiveness on a scale of one to 10. Uh, Bro, she says like a four. Okay. If she uh, drinks, that's bad news. Uh, one to 10, 100. Yeah, that was easy. Energy! <laughs> I love tattoos. Yeah, that, yo, nah, they're gonna get together. Cause she, bro, he just called her attractive too. Oh. Yeah, that was easy. Energy! <laughs> I love tattoos. Yeah, nah, that one, that one will be easy for her to say, yeah, I like you. These ones are gonna be rough. This is gonna be fucking bad. Like piercings and curly hair. I'll give you a nine. A nine? Oh, let's go! A ten. Because <laughs> the personality just adds so much to it i'm like a safety Damn, so she just said that physically he's not as attractive sure i love mindsets i'm attracted to that but you know you're just real you're just yourself so that's very attractive to me if i was white i'd be blushing <laughs> rate my attractiveness on a scale of one to ten yeah that's fair Oh my God. And this is going to end with him telling her that he likes her. I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I would, I would, I would, I would just act like this is the friend game and I would move past that one card. No fucking way. Rate me on a scale of one to 10 in attractiveness. She drinks. That means it'd be low. Cause you're not going to, you're not, if it's high, you would just fucking say it. Jaylene for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted sub. Sub in the chat for that. Thank Jaylene if you got a sub. And thank you for the five gifted. Doggo and Randy for the sub. Logan for the three jibbities. By the way, I'm 6'4 and a feminist type energy. What from him? Uh, CSAB for the three jibbets says, Joe, have you fucked? Well, I have a girlfriend. And I've had others in the past. So Hassan for the sub. Khan for the sub. Buff and XQ for the sub. It's just a weird question, too. It's just a weird question. Like, why are you asking me that? Attractiveness is subjective. And I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> Joe didn't read my sub. Mr. Garf, thank you for the sub. I'm sorry if I missed it. <laughs> yeah, he's so nice, though. Now he's If upset. we were to have sex, what would you do to me? Oh, Lord. If you get lucky, maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well played. Yeah, now he into her too. Now this one's gonna be okay. This this is a match. This is this is the only thing that's keeping me fucking through this game. Holy fuck! Because this is the only one that's not awkward. Because they're just like they're matching each other. This is not a hard watch. If we were to have this sex, this is a hard watch. 
This is a hard watch. So what would you do to me? It really kind of depends on what lead up to it. Like, what's the energy beforehand? And that really... The energy's great. The experience is great. You're at the house. She just wants to Damn, know. You know <laughs> I'm out here with this anticipation. Like, See, what's going on? See, but that's the thing. A lot of times, people be trying to just rush and go. That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to build up to it. You know what I mean? You're not getting nowhere to the detail of... That's fine. How about this? I'll just show you. <laughs> what? I don't even want to talk. I don't talk about it anyway. This says for me to tell you that I have a crush on you. I'm hiding. Oh. Let's take the shot. I don't think that you have to take a shot. What? I don't have to take a shot? No. Nah, oh, okay. it, was, it was for me to tell you that I have a crush on you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I'm getting, I'm getting the temperature. This is like brutally uncomfortable. This is like brutally uncomfortable. She said, thank you. Thank you. No fucking way. Oh my God. Picture of the room. Okay. That's not even a response. I have a crush on you. Thank you. Oh, Gordon for the sub. I really like you. And, um,. I can see this going places if we want to be more than friends. Oh, she giggled. So, um... no. Oh, that's the risk, too. That's the risk because they're friends right now. And if you tell your friend you have a crush on them and it doesn't work out, you're probably not going to be friends anymore. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. I oh, do have God. A... No, he can't say it. He can't say it. Yo, buddy, please. Buddy, please save it. Save it. Save it. Oh my God. I don't even want to press play. She fucking drank when you told her to rate you. Fuck. Do not tell her you like her. Please. I have a crush on you, but I feel like, like I have feelings for you. I've been attracted to you since I think before you met Adam. But before? Yeah. Like you were on my periphery. I was interested in you. <laughs> I was dating your. And then, he started and then he started dating somebody that I like went to middle and high school with. And I was like, well, I can't do or say anything about this. Huh. Yeah. The real reason why I brought you here was not for- How he have a crush on her for fucking years and not say anything. Like this the first time that she ever even had the inkling that he liked her or likes her. Like, no fucking way. Mr. Garf for the 300 bets. I want to say thank you for the streams. I love watching them. Second, my mom went to the store four hours ago and still hasn't come back. You could call her. Truth or drink friends. It was truth or drink my secret crush because <laughs> I've low key like, been crushing on you since we met. Yeah. But I'm never like wanted to say anything just because I'm a little shy. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Are they all gonna go bad? Bro, I thought that one was gonna go good. <sighs> Are these feelings mutual? Why or why not? They're not. I know. I'm sorry. I'm very flattered. Okay. But it's like, extra, it's definitely extra weird because like, no, like, we met through an ex-boyfriend, yeah, 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 and I'm yeah. like, clean break, and then like, we come here, Surprise. and I'm like, hey. <laughs> no, I get it. He's gonna go cry. Like, I feel bad. Like, I feel bad. Like, and, and, and this is going, this went on YouTube. And now, and now they're probably not friends anymore. Are these feelings mutual? I have a good time hanging out with you. Oh, um, that means no. Elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> probably... Mutual. I'll take what I can get. 100% yeah, the feelings. Probably mutual? What does that mean? Oh, yes, please, please. <laughs> Probably mutual. I'll take what I can get. 100% yeah, the feelings mutual. Yeah. Yes! Yes! One win. One win. Oh my God. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. Oh my God. If it was gonna be, uh, it was gonna be fucking four losses in a row, I was gonna fucking freak out. Oh, all right, one dub, one dub. God damn. I want to know something funny. I was actually, I actually had a day plan for us after this. Like, 
Damn, we like them, huh? <laughs> Y'all gotta be. Are these feelings mutual? No. I would say they're not mutual. Oh my God! Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. It's unbearable. It's unbearable. I can't watch this. Just because when I work with somebody, I try to keep it, you know, what it is. Like, if we work together, I keep it cordial. Sure. I don't like to mix business with pleasure. Technically, we never did any business together. That's what I'm saying. So, for me, it's kind of like out of the question to even like try and develop feelings. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, there's, yeah. there's a reason, and I'm just... Yeah, that was a really shitty excuse on her part. She just said... I want to keep work, work, and pleasure, pleasure. He said, yeah, well, we haven't even worked together. And she said, yeah, that's the point. So, so there can be pleasure. What the fuck? Yeah, I keep it professional. <laughs> All right. Could you see yourself falling in love with me? I don't know. Nah. That's too, I've known you for like three weeks, but okay, you're cool, right. you're cool. I've known you for like three weeks, but you're cool. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, he's trying to hold her hand. Ah! Ah! Oh, so awkward. Oh, so awkward. Oh my God. Oh my God, it was a fucking high five. Could you see yourself falling in love with me? Falling in love? I ain't gonna lie, when I like somebody, I'm a simp, so maybe. I say yes or no. Is I'm open to it. So, you, no, I say yes or no. <laughs> Yes, you just want to hear one word, yes, yes. Thank you. There you go, now your turn. <laughs> Would you all play this with other people? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've played similar games like this and I haven't had this much fun, so. Yeah, it's like, also just like fun, fun, fun. Y'all's fucking friendship is ruined. Fuck you mean fun? Buddy just, buddy just poured out his love for you and fucking three years never fucking had an inkling that you liked him or he liked you. You just said no. God damn, C7 for the 300 bets. Just got my old Fortnite account back. The account was made in Chapter 1, Season 2 in late 2017. Duh. Good shit for getting your account back. Oh, my God. That was almost unwatchable. That was fucking bad. All right, next one. Holy shit. Okay. Actually, let's watch this one first. New Zealand. New Zealand today, Karen wants her $20 back. Tonight, one of the most terrifying yet hilarious. Was that one of the hardest watches? What's the hardest watch we've ever had on stream? It wasn't that. We've had a harder watch. I don't know what the hardest watch we've ever had, though, was. That one? It was a scary react? That's not a hard watch, though. Ratman? The Willy Wonka Mr. Beast? One of the buttons, probably. One of the buttons was probably a hard watch. A TLC video. Yeah, that vegan teacher. Yeah, probably one of those. All right. Next video. Tonight, one of the most terrifying yet hilarious phone messages that New Zealand has ever heard. A woman called Karen who just wants her $20 back. Hello, this is Karen. Rachel said she can ignore me and hide from me for her 20 lousy dollars that she owes me from like over, well over three months ago. She won $600 at the pokies at the Stokes Valley Bar and she said to Jade and Dion, don't tell Karen you've seen me because I owe her 20 bucks. Bro, y'all give a fuck about $20 that much? My God, what is this, a fucking threat message? Fucking owe somebody, I need my $20. I sold in 600 at the pokies. Fuck. Well, I tell you what, I'll get my 20 bucks, or she's gonna get 20 fucking whacks. That's we literally a threat. That's literally a threat. Over $20. 20 fucking whacks. Not my fault she's a mental crazy lady that wanted to go off with a fucking lesbian that's now with a man. Not my fault your daughter's all fucked up, okay? Not my fucking fault. I want my fucking money. It was the wrong number. The recording was... Bro, you leave a voice message on the wrong number. ...uploaded to the internet and it became a viral comedy hit. 
Then without warning, Karen disappeared. Until now, I got a tip that she was in Christchurch. And this is the moment that I've been waiting for for six years. Weenty fucking wet, wet. Not surprised that's yeah. what she looks like. Guy. Privilege and an honour. Thank you. Well, wow, you're tall. You gonna invite us in? Yes, come on in. As soon as I put the can up, it flies away. There it is, it's in the middle. Here it is, here it is. It's one of those little... Mm, mm, mm. It's gone. Shit, that works. She has wasp spray in her house. <laughs> fucking gave him 20 fucking wax, eh? <laughs> 20, 20 wax, so you fly. So take us back to the beginning. Why did Rachel owe you $20? <laughs> this is self-incriminating. What do you mean self-incriminating? <laughs> well, it was for some marijuana. Wow, okay. <laughs> so I don't buy it to sell it, I buy it to smoke it. When you listen back to the call, do you feel embarrassed? Who the hell so buys weed to sell weed? What is this, a fucking drop shipping deal? What the fuck? Sometimes, because I never did it with the intention of the rest of the world listening to it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Your laugh is a little bit terrifying, to be honest. <laughs> Karen was the opposite to what I expected. She was kind and oddly charming. So I got downloaded onto YouTube, and then it blew up. Yeah, I was very surprised, because I didn't understand technology and just how great and vast it is. My mobile phone does heaps of things that I don't know how to do. What sort of stuff does it do that you don't know how to do? Well, I don't know. If I knew how to do it, I'd know what it is. <laughs> I have data. So I hate how old people don't understand technology. I fucking pray that I'm not like that when I'm old. Oh my god, it's so aggravating. It's so fucking aggravating. When an old person, bro, oh my god, like grandparents type shit. Oh my god. Fucking, how do I, how do I send a message? Well, you type in the text box and hit the send button. But then how do I know if it's, if, if it's sent? Well, it says delivered. How do I, how do I check my, how do I check my candy? How do I check the YouTubes? How do I Google something? Are you fucking kidding me? How do you Google something? Bro. Hit the lotto. <laughs> you grew up with the internet. I know. But it's not, bro. It's not because they're old. It's because they don't want to learn. That's what it is, right? Because there's old people that know so much about technology because they'll fucking try. There's uh, the old people that don't know about technology. It's not because they don't get it because they're old and they didn't grow up with it. It's because they want somebody to do it for them because they don't want to fucking learn it, which is fine, right? You're fucking 75. You don't want to learn anything new, whatever. But like, oh my God, stop acting like it's the most confusing thing you've ever fucking seen. Because it's not. Nah, you're ignorant. How am I ignorant? They'll be dead soon. That's what I'm saying. They'll be dead anyway soon. That's uh, It's because you're mean. It's, bro, you got the most dumbass cop. Yo, I'm, yo, I, I'm, I, I'm saying I understand they don't want to learn anything. That's fine. You don't want to learn anything because you're old. But don't sit here and act like it's complicated when it's not. You just don't want to learn it. Fucking six-year-olds understand iPads. Who's for the sub? Joke's for the sub. It's not me being a dick. It's just me fucking actually evaluating it. They don't want to learn it, which is fine. But don't act like it's hard. Damien for the sub. Want to win lotto. Why do you want to win lotto? Because they don't have no money worries, will I? But I Bro, and then when they get that angry, you ever be around an old person that gets mad? They fucking don't understand it, and they start going like this. I'm not gonna fuck it! And they start fucking hitting their... Ugh, just, oh my god, I get so mad. I get so fucking mad. They just start, like, punching their phone. Like, it's gonna fucking do something. If anything, it's gonna break... It's not fucking working! God damn it! Like, shut up! Oh, it's so fucking annoying. I hate it. I fucking hate it. You, I'll, I'll see it in public. I'll just see an old person just fucking panicking. Just fucking tapping their phone. That is so hard. At ulterior motives for meeting today. A business plan that would hopefully change the course of both of our lives 
forever. I think you're born with a talent that not many people have. Really? Don't you think? No. Have you ever thought about getting into the debt collection industry? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> it's not me. Hassling people because they owe money. That literally is you. That's what you're most famous <laughs> for doing, isn't it? I did that once. And you stumbled onto a wonderful thing. OK, but I still wouldn't be a debt collector and go and hassle people. No, you don't hassle people. They come to you. <laughs> we set up a website. People call up. Yeah. Yeah, this video sucks. I'm going to move on. I don't want to watch that. Uh, two centimeter for the 400 bitties. Says, hate that. Damien for the sub. Next video. The real cost of owning a private island. Sure. Having a mansion. Sure. Having a mansion is a sign of wealth. And owning a private jet lets everyone know that you're rolling in the dough. Bro, this is, this is already so off topic, but do these commentators actually fucking sound like this? Sure, having a mansion is a sign of wealth, and owning a private jet lets everyone- Like, there's no way that's what he sounds like without fucking recording. Sure, there's so much wealth. Like, no, they're, they're, it's like exaggeration. I know that you're rolling in the dough, but there's one thing that rises above all else when it comes to luxury, and that's owning your very own private island. Lounging in the sun with a drink in hand, miles away from the nearest person may sound like a dream, but it's a pricey one. Today, we're going to take a look at how much it actually costs and search for an answer to the big question. Yeah, but there is no definitive... Why is she flexing her fucking feet? There's no definitive answer on how much a private island costs. It's dependent on fucking how big it is, where it is, what the land's like, if there's shit on it. Is owning a private island actually worth it? The first big expense of buying a private island is, well, quite obviously, purchasing the island itself. Sure, you have fantasies about cabanas in the white sand, and maybe even a golf course on the north side of the island. But all that starts with finding the perfect location. Where would y'all buy an island if you could buy any island? The banker for the sub. You can't buy an island that's already owned, but you could buy it in a place. I'd probably buy one in the Philippines. Because they got some nice-ass islands. Some nice-ass islands. ...to build a foundation on and make those dreams a reality. That being said, the cost of your island varies drastically depending on where you buy. In Canada, for example, which has the highest number of private islands for sale in the world. You yeah, for sale, because who the fuck is owning a private island in Canada? Bitch, that shit is cold as fuck most of the year. Why the hell would I want to own an island in Canada? Get islands for under $200,000. And if you're really pinching pennies... Bro, if, yo, this is the, if this ain't the shittiest fucking private island I've ever seen, if that's the island I'm buying, what the fuck are you going to do with that land? Buddy, the tide goes a little too high. That fucking island's underwater. Well, you can even scoop up an island for just under $100,000. Take this island in Nova Scotia called Half Island for just $65,000. Less than half the cost of your average home. You can buy this six-acre island that's located less than a mile away from the mainland. You see, there has to be something shitty about it. There has to be something bad about it. Why the fuck is it that cheap? However, that price comes with a catch. Sure, $65,000 is great for your own little slice of paradise, in the summer at least. In winter, temperatures around Half Island can reach as low as negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, the island is, is only feasible to live on during summer. And even during the summer, getting supplies can be a hassle. When you're thinking of a private island, chances are you're not thinking of cold, remote locations. You're thinking locations with sandy beaches and palm trees, where flip-flops are considered formal attire. Likely, you're picturing... he's got the caveman feet. Holy shit. Palm trees where flip flops got some thick ass toes. So I considered formal attire. Likely, you're picturing the Caribbean, made up of thousands of islands with hills, sprawling sand beaches, and crystal clear waters. The Caribbean is a breathtaking location to build the tropical oasis of your dreams. And there are plenty of islands to pick from. Surprisingly, the prices. See, aren't like that's a private island. Like, that's a nice fucking island.
That shit's probably mad expensive, though. Actually that overwhelming, either. If you're settling for a smaller chunk of land that's more remote, you can snag an island for between one and three million dollars. But if you're looking for a larger island in the more popular, desirable areas of the Caribbean, well, that price can be anywhere between 30 to 100 million dollars. So 100 million for a fucking tiny island. Bro, I might as well just get a yacht. Why the fuck would you need an island? 100 million dollars. Just get a boat. Just get a 100 million dollar boat. And fucking anchor that shit. Some of the popular island chains include the Exumus, the Abaco Islands, and the Berry Islands. Islands in these chains in particular offer an advantage that remote islands don't. They're close to bigger towns and cities, which eases access for visiting guests and owners. Take, for example, Spectabilis Island in the Exumus. The island stretches 460 acres, which includes dozens of white sand beaches, scenic hilltop views, and plenty of potential building space and it's only 230 miles from miami and a mere six 230 only 230 miles the fuck you mean only that's fucking so that's far as fuck miles from the capital. It's pricey, but it's easily accessible, and it comes with the added bonus of being able to say, yes, I have an island in the Exumus. Then Bro, that there man are was sweaty as fuck. Exumus. Ugh. Then, there are the more remote areas of the Caribbean, like Little Ragged Island, a 700-acre island that's listed for 35... Bro, but then you buy that shit. 730 acres. You buy this $35 million island. There's fucking nothing on it. Now you gotta build that shit. Now you gotta fucking get plumbing and electricity and all that shit. That's gonna be another fucking 30 mil right there. Fucking, you're gonna build a mansion on it. You're gonna have a boat, a dock, electricity, plumbing, Wi-Fi. Oh, you're fucking kidding me million dollars. Compared to Spectabilis, you get almost double the land for, well, half the price. And that's not all. Little Ragged Island has two ponds, meaning you have access to fresh water. And it has 30,000 feet of shoreline, which is equal to about 5.6 miles. And you'll really, really have that 5.6 miles of shoreline to yourself, because the 110-mile-long Ragged Island chain is incredibly underdeveloped, with only only one small town that has a population of 72 people. In other words, you might as well not buy this island if you have any desire to hit up a local nightclub or dine at a fancy restaurant. Across all these price isn't ranges- is that not the purpose of an island, though? Like, if you have a private island, isn't it supposed to be a private island? You're not supposed to be fucking, oh yeah, I want to go to my private island and pop over to Miami. Like, no, you're supposed to just fucking sit there. Like, it's supposed to be a vacation. You know, there's supposed to be nobody there. In location. Basin melted for the sub. Razor and Soylent for the sub. Albino for the 300 bitties. Uh, and two centimeter, I think. Uh, I thank you for the 400 bets. The islands we've looked at all have something in common. They're underdeveloped. At first, that may not seem like a big deal. If you have enough money to buy a private island, then surely building a house on said island shouldn't be an issue, right? Well, not really. Because when you buy a private island, you're not just paying for the land to build a house on. No, no, no. There's a lot more that goes into it. For starters, you have to find out if you even can build on the island. Places like the Caribbean have strict environmental laws on building. Then why the fuck would I buy the island? Oh yeah, island for sale for 35 million. By the way, you're not allowed to build on it. What the fuck is the purpose of owning it then? Fucking sitting on the island? Somebody said vids boring as fuck. Good shit, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. You can leave the stream. Because the ecosystem of the region is so fragile. There, an environmental impact study is required before you make any changes to the island you've bought. And that environmental impact study doesn't come cheap. It'll cost you at least $50,000. These environmental laws are also common in Canada, where endangered animals may call the lake and ocean islands 
home. I mean, after all, you wouldn't want to evict cute little critters like this, would you? Oh, look at them go. In Ontario, specifically, you're only allowed to build if there is more than an acre of buildable land on the island, meaning scooping up a super small island for the cost of your monthly paycheck isn't actually worth it, unless you feel like camping. On top of the expensive environmental study that takes place before- If I before feel like camping, I'll just illegally camp there. What, is there going to be some dude driving around saying, oh, oh, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to camp on this island. You don't own it. How the fuck would they know? Will you build? There are dozens of environmental protection laws that will increase the price of your build. Things like how you gather water, how you generate electricity, and how you access the island are greatly regulated in order to protect the beautiful yeah. lake. How do you get electricity on an island? Like, Wi-Fi, whatever, right? One thing. Fucking plumbing. All right. How do you get a light? It has to be solar panels. Outside of solar panels, you would have gas. That'd be the only other thing. Gas-powered electricity. There's Starlink. That's for Wi-Fi. I'm saying that's not an issue. But, like, if yeah, windmill, you would need some shit like that because you couldn't wire something to your fucking island. Uh, base for the Fiverr's Bits, have you tasted Brunos before? I don't even know what that is. Lakes and oceans. So, keep in mind how much that will run the bill up in addition to the standard cost of building a home. But all environmental stuff aside, there are lots of other logistics to figure out. Firstly, shipping building supplies to the island, which doesn't Oh come my god, alright, we know about this. Now you're just getting into the fucking obvious shit. Contractors, plumbers, and electricians on the island daily. And if your island is miles and miles away from the nearest town with hotels, like Little Ragged Island is in the Caribbean, then you're looking at some massive costs just to get your building crew on site. Plus, you have to actually build a way for your preferred mode of transportation to reach the or, island. Or, or you transport the builders there with all the equipment. Then while they're building, you take the boats and the helicopters away. And you tell them, hey, you're not allowed to leave until you finish this fucking house. And then, boom, you just cut the cost of building in half. If you want to access the island fast, well, you can build an airstrip. But most estimates put the cost of that somewhere upwards of $1 million. I mean, a helipad is a cheaper option. Or you could go with a dock for boats and seaplane access. But these are still going to cost you a pretty penny. That being said, it's a lot easier to buy a developed island rather than an undeveloped one. Take Frozen K, located in the Berry Island chain of the Bahamas. The 40-acre island... Is this the one that the Mr. Beast challenge was at? This looks very similar to the Mr. Beast one. Okay, located in the Berry Island chain of the Bahamas. The 40-acre island... No, because that one did have buildings on it. ...cost $17 million and is readily accessible by both boat and seaplane. It features white powder beaches, lush forests, and a six-bedroom, six-bathroom residence that measures a whopping... 4,145 square feet. That's oh, fucking nuts. And there's nuts. also a heated swimming pool, of course. In addition, there is an 806 square foot manager's cottage and a 1,500... See, nah, that private island looks fire as shit. You're the only motherfuckers on that shit. You own this whole island. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Oh my god. Bro, I'd be blowing shit up. I'd bring a rocket launcher. I'd bring a fucking rocket launcher. I'd bring a minigun. I'd start just mowing shit down out there. Fuck. Foot manager's cottage and a 1,534 foot staff cottage, as well as a marina that accommodates up to 100 foot long yachts. However, Frozen K brings up yet another cost associated with private islands, and that's maintenance. If you have enough money for a private island, chances are you're pretty busy with work and won't be able to spend all your time sipping pina coladas with your feet in the sand. Highly the doubtful, actually. But he's saying if you have enough money for a private island, you're probably busy as hell with work. Or they're retired. Like, Jeff Bezos could fucking retire right now and just own a private island and just fucking chill there. A home unoccupied puts you at risk of squatters, break-ins, and other damage. So having the island- Yo, if I owned a private island and a motherfucker went on the private island, I would have a missile defense system. Second a person shows up on the security cams, they're getting fucking murked. Literally. Somebody pulls up on the fucking island, it's over. It's so over. Do you have your own jurisdiction? How does that work? 
How does that fucking work? If you own your own island, does that, it's just anything, anything goes? Like, if I own an island in the middle of fucking nowhere, do I have to abide by laws? Am I, if somebody comes on my island, am I just allowed to fucking blast them? How would that work? Occupied. What are the taxes? See, I don't know that either. Do you pay property taxes? If I gotta pay property taxes for a fucking island, that's kind of bullshit. It's international laws? I don't think it is. I think you're, I think that the law is what country that island is a part of. Because you're not just buying an island that isn't a part of a country. It's still a part of something. In care of is a necessity. Though I've spent- Wait, if you're buying one in the Caribbeans, it might be a part of the Bahamas. It might be a part of, uh, fucking Jamaica. It might be a part of something, right? Um... Or in the Philippines, it'll be a part of the so you would abide by those laws. Much of the video talking about the costs associated with having your own private island. There's also a potential to make money when you're not occupying your home. Private island rentals are wildly popular for the wealthy, including myself. Bro, Islands that shit's fucking nuts. You ever see, dude, even on Airbnbs, have y'all ever seen the Airbnb? Dude, there's Airbnbs that are $10,000 a night. $20,000 a night. And they're private islands. And you can buy them. And you could do it right now. You could fly out there right now. They'd fucking boat you over. Dude, 20 grand though for one night. Like who the fuck is paying for that? I will say a lot of those fucking mansions and islands and shit that are that expensive. You can like, you could get like 20 people to fit in the, the fucking thing and then pay for it. But it'd still be $1,000 a person. Nimble for the three said just rolled my first joint. It was terrible. LMAO. Enjoy the stream. Enjoying the stream regardless. Hope all is well. Sunbird for the sub. Uh, and Wadzi for the 300 bitties. Dr. Yoon on, in one of his YouTube shorts said that your abs are kind of sus. So I think that you use steroids. Do you mean steroids? And that video, he uh, he's joking. I don't use... I, if you want to think I use steroids, that's a compliment. I've been the same weight for fucking four years. Uh, but Nimble, just rolled my first joint. You got to get cones. If you're rolling, if you're rolling, it's probably going to be shitty. It's like Schwanee K in roll. the Bahamas have a minimum cost of $14,000 per day. But that's just for double occupancy. Each I have no cones. They just get a bowl. Additional person costs five hundred dollars per day, so bringing just four more people will cost you sixteen thousand dollars. Don't lie, Joe. You just said you lost ten pounds. Well, that's because I have the stomach virus. Per day at a minimum, not including yeah, gratuity. Yeah, sixteen k a night. You're fucking out of your mind. In other words, if you own that island, you can make some darn good money. If Schwanny K is rented out just as a double occupancy at the lowest rate for every day of the year, the property will bring in at least five million dollars. There is that wonderful benefit. It's not getting rented out every day of the year, though. Additional income that comes with owning a private island. Cam it just said sixteen k is nothing. What do you mean 16K is nothing? 16K for four people. Bro, that's four grand a night. You're, you're, you don't think that's a lot. But you, it's 4K a night. And you have to pay to fly there. Get out there. You got to pay for your own food. Bro, what do you mean that's nothing? It's going to be like fucking six, seven grand a person. A night. It'd be wrong of me not to mention the other benefit. Joe's a brokey. Bro. Which is simply owning a slice of paradise. Having your own escape. Miles. 4,000 for a vacay is not bad. Buddy, what fucking vacations do you go on? Most vacate. You're rich. I don't give a fuck if I make money. That doesn't mean I don't understand the value of fucking 10 grand. What do you mean? Whoa, oh, oh, that's nothing. Dude, 4 grand is nothing for a vacation? You're fucking bugging. Dude, you could go you could go to Mexico for an all-inclusive resort or like the Caribbean in an uh, at a resort for a week for like 2k. For a week. You're telling me 4 grand for one day is is good is is well priced. Y you must be fucking Jeff Bezos's kid. And miles away from the nearest Mexico's park. shit. No, it's not. And, and, and okay, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, any of those. Bahamas, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, St. Martin, fucking any of those. You're going to the Caribbean, even the Philippines, bro. It's going to be more, it's going to be less than that. Not four grand. Fucking what?
person is a joy like no other. Waking up and walking down to the beach that is yours. Sipping wine on the deck that is yours. Overlooking the ocean in your underwear if you want, because... 4K is good for a week, though? A week, yeah, maybe. But, like, a day? No. It's your island. <laughs> you make the rules. There's all sorts of reasons that people dream of owning private islands. That being said, it's time to answer the big question. Is owning a private island worth it? Well, I suppose that's up to you to decide. Are the insane costs, time-consuming regulations, and painstaking transportation of building supplies and amenities worth lounging on an island you can call home? What do you think? And if you had your own private island, what would you name it? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what the fuck I would name my dumbass private island, buddy trying to farm comments. What would you name your private island? I don't fucking know. Bark's Palace, whatever the fuck. All right, hold up. I gotta go pee real quick. React to the $2 steak video? What the fuck is that? Uh, Wild Z for the 300 bitties. This guy's voice is nice and relaxing. I think that's the point. Reverb for the 500 bits. Did you hear the stuff about raw wraps and cones? Stay safe. Hope the stream's been good. Uh, I heard that their shit's not actually made in Alcoy, Spain. But the stuff about heavy metals, I don't know if that's definitively true. Uh, there are trace metals in... Um, cones but that's just plant-based metals uh wadzi for the 300 bets all right hold up bro said two dollar steak what the fuck is a two dollar steak asmin gold how i cook my two dollar steak oh we'll check that out we'll check we'll, we'll scan over that video real quick when i get back before we go to the next one hold up bardotopia no all right chat Help me down 30 seconds. Next video. That was 26 seconds. I think that was longer than 26 seconds. 17S for the sub, Bahala for the sub, TTV for the sub, 9 Heon for the sub. All right. We're going to scan this video because somebody said to watch it. How I cook my $2 steak by Asmin Gold. What's up, boys? So I've wanted to do this for a while. Some gummy life save. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't know why Asmin Gold lives like, 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 bro. Why does Asmin Gold live like he, like he makes like, 5k a year like buddy is a multi-millionaire has to be has to be averages the most viewers out of think i think almost any streamer garlic for the sub McDonald's, we get some food let's make a two dollar got him in a bag was because you know he says i was like i'm gonna see him i'm gonna see him I unbox the steak also only as a want to have to why you do that and so, okay all right all right so then uh, we get the lemon pepper, and this Izzy taught me how to make a steak, but I don't know if she'll like the, my own little things I put on. All right, so did I shake this one? I, I don't remember. Okay, so anyway, we'll put this on. I don't think I shook it. 
So then there you go. There's the steak. Oh, wow. What a good steak. And so, Why not buy a higher quality steak? You turned a $2 steak into a $1 steak. One of the most watched streamers in the world. Immense era defining achievements in streaming. This guy has his own producers, editors recognized by vi by virtually anyone who's spent more than 15 minutes on the internet. Yeah, he looks like this is the third video on some account with six subscribers. Bro, what the fuck? I'm literally not watching this. I just want to see what it fucking looks like. Gotten sick after eating a steak. I've never felt bad after eating a steak. I'm a simple man. I live a simple life. I like steak and fucking potato. And I don't care if it's a cheap Bro, steak. Bro, an unseasoned potato and a $2 steak. It's a good fucking steak. On a, pa good. on a paper plate. Enough for me. So anyway, uh, before I usually leave the kitchen area, uh, this is the pan here. As you can see, it's dirty. So what we do is I just put water on it. And I do that because this makes it to where like uh, it's easy to get the stuff off. And then I just leave it on the counter until the next steak time, which will probably be tomorrow. So yeah. Uh, until want... the next steak time? Bro, Aspen is so fucking weird. I can't... <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Why wouldn't he clean it then? Bro, like, he could buy, like, he could pay to eat, like, a thousand dollars of food every fucking day. But he's eating two dollars, two dollars of steak and one fucking potato. 360 for the sub, mocha for the sub. Next video. Found tracking device underground. Trick YouTube hacker into trap using spies abandoned device. Abandoned evidence. Fuck. This is going to be a hard watch. This is from four years ago. has 30 million views. Everybody lock in. What is up, ninjas? Over on V's video, this monitor suddenly just turned on. It started showing footage of V and I in our own house. That tells me that somebody has been spying on us in our house. All right, so we have to go... A little bit of an under, under fucking emotional fucking reaction here. You're not scared at all? Hey guys, so we're watching our monitor here, and it it seems like somebody's actually filming us inside of our own house. Looks like we gotta go figure out who they are. Uh, I feel like you'd be shitting your pants. Somebody's in your house actively. That, that guy has cancer. He stopped making videos. This dude? Chad Wild Clay? He made a video yesterday. Yeah, I don't know if that's who you... Are you talking about Asmund? Hold up. Yeah, he said he has eight tumors. Damn. Did he get them... Did he get them removed? and I in our own house. That tells me that somebody has been spying on us in our house. All right, so we have to go explore the house right now. I think there's bugs. I think there's microphones. I think there's cameras all set up in this house. Let's go see if we can find some of them. All right, so we've already investigated this. Wouldn't you be way more fucking nervous? I feel like you'd be shitting your pants. There's spies in my house actively. She's just unfazed. She's just sitting there. He's fucking happy. Dickens for the 300 bets. Uh, says Chinese philosophy. If you're depressed, you are living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace, you're living in the present. Love the streams, and I hope you feel better. Thank you. Uh, and W bit down now, bro. Thank you for the 300 bitties. Living them pretty well, but we never did use it. It's fake and made for kids, Joe. I know it's fake. I'm making fun of the fact that it's shittily made. That's kind of what I'm doing. I feel like it's so... Like, people always tell me... And, and see, this is, this is the disconnect here. People do it on TikTok, and people do it on YouTube, too. Uh, and people will be like, yo. Yo, Joe, the video's fake, bro. Like, acting like I don't know that it's fake and, like, I'm stupid. But then they're not realizing that, like, I know it's fake and I'm kind of making fun of the fact that it's fake. Like, is that is that clicking in the, in the neuro connections that I know it's fake? Obviously, it's not fucking real. Like, oh, Joe, it's a joke, though. Joe, it's a fucking joke. 
Joe, Joe, it's a fucking fake video for kids. I know. A metal detector. Watch SML. SML is not, bro. Cam, Cam, I'm a straight up diss you here, bro. I'm a straight up diss you here, bro. But he said, watch SML. Yo, this is the most unfunny shit ever. SML is not <laughs> funny. It's fucking puppet hey. shit. Cam said, watch SML. Yo, tell me if this is funny, chat. Hey, check out my new toy. Look what it can do. That's my face. That's really cool, Jeffy. And that's my ear. Awesome. That's a really cool toy, Marvin. Yeah. And hey, look at this. What? Jeffy, ew, don't put your thing in that. What? <laughs> it's in the shape of a dick. It's in the shape of a dick. Damn. Like, no, dude. Like, it upsets me. Because, like, I know comedy's subjective, but when somebody, when somebody finds that funny and they also find me funny then I'm immediately like, okay, I'm not funny. Because if you find that funny and you also find me funny, that's bad. So how this works is you hover this over surface areas like this, and if it finds anything of metal- teaching us how to make a metal, or how to use a metal detector. It'll start beeping. So if there's any like cameras or microphones in here, this should be able to find it. So I'm gonna just, is there anything in here? Oh, Okay, so, the, okay, so, so yeah, that's metal. So that's not a camera or whatever, but... Yeah, so that means that this is working properly. Okay, so I'll just keep investigating. So looking for hidden cameras, hidden microphones, or the sort. There's got to be a way that the hacker has been spying on us because he knew we ordered a pizza. He was on our TV, spying on us through our TV. We trashed that... Wait a minute. How the hell was he spying on you through a television? I just heard something. It just could be a wire right under here. your fuck. There's so Buddy's about to rip up the floorboards to find a fucking wire. Something right here, guys. All right, let's uh, check. Let's guys, there's a hidden camera under the carpet. Check underneath this rug and see what's underneath there. Maybe he's got a microphone under there. Here we go. What's under here? Okay. Was oh, it right wait. here? Wait, look at this floorboard. It's a different color. See this floorboard? It doesn't match all the rest of the colors. Yeah, this is all like light, like birch color, and yeah. all this is it's like tan. This yeah, I think dark. you should rip it out. I think you should destroy your floor. I feel like he must have lifted up one of the original boards and replaced it with this fake board. So maybe underneath this piece of wood, he put a microphone or a camera or something underneath here. Are we are we going crazy, Chad? I mean, underneath the baseboard of. I just said, are we going crazy, Chad? This isn't live. Are we going crazy, chat? What? Floors? I don't think so because, I mean, these guys- Oh, she said Chad? Oh, she said Chad. But I was about to say. Saw the hacker on our TV, which we trashed and threw away. But even since then, I feel like he's been spying on us. He's been knowing what we're up to. There's gotta be some way he's, he's tracking us. <laughs> Yeah. Give me a thumbs up right now if you want me to rip open these floorboards and see if they're... Yeah. Yeah. Tear open your... T blow up your house. There are microphones underneath. I think that's oh. the only way you could get rid of the cameras. Or, or we need to move out of here. I don't know. It's, it's one of those two because he's tracking us. All right. Well, how about I need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to pry this board open. Okay, sure. I'll go get it. While V's going to get that, let's keep exploring a little bit more to make sure we're not missing out on any other cameras. If you guys missed it in V's video, V and I found this glass bottle here and this bag. Neither of them are ours. And we found fingerprints that were not ours on both of these. So we how got- How the hell would you know that's not yours? What are you going to fucking compare them? You're going to fucking eyeball it? Some fingerprints look pretty fucking similar. Copies of those onto tape. We're gonna save those for later and hopefully figure out whose fingerprints those were. I think they were the hacker's fingerprints. Chad, I got the hammer here and okay. the flathead screwdriver. Okay. I'm ready to open up some boards. If you guys gave this video a thumbs up. All right. All right. Now I'm not gonna. Now I'm gonna give it a dislike. No, I'm just gonna. Uh, now I'm back to. Now I'm back to neutral. They shouted it out twice. That pissed me off. I think they did. Let's go open up some floorboards. All right, ninjas, I've got the flathead screwdriver and the hammer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, put it right down. Next video, this vid is ass. Bro, this video is supposed to be ass. I like, like, do people, uh, again, again, do people understand that? This is supposed to be a hard watch, right? That's why we're watching it. I'm not watching this video because I think it's a good fucking video. I'm watching the video because I think it's a bad fucking video. Like, is, is that logic clicking? between here and then i'm gonna hammer the top that's why we don't want to watch it okay then leave <laughs> then leave
the screwdriver really hard like this and I'm gonna pry this wood right off of there. So it's, it's gonna take me a few minutes here, guys. Okay, well, while you're doing that, I think I'm gonna continue metal detecting the rest of the house, I think, just to make right. sure that we're safe. Cool, all right, cool. I'll get working on this floor here. Yeah, so I've, I've been, um... SML is better? Bro, <laughs> yeah, no, I would probably rather watch SML over this. But like, both of these are pretty bad. Detecting all of our, our living room area, and then all the hallways. I'm gonna go into Chad's office, or his like, ninja weapon room. Yeah, but not good to react. Boring at AF. The cut video was better. Bro's typing like a Facebook mom. Yeah, but not good to react. Boring AF. The cut video was better. Next vid, this is ass. What's a dweeb? Two inch should use one of his donos. Bro, you hate it on DBZ. That's kinda L, TBH. Who the fuck is DBZ? Dragon Ball Z? Bro, I hated on Dragon Ball Z fucking a year ago. This video's not as good as the cut video. The cut video is actually a good fucking video. That it's a hard watch, but it's a good video. I'm just reacting to it. This is a bad video. Let's see if anything's in here. Oh, Bro just said react to guava juice. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? There's just a ton of metal in here because, like, all his weapons here. Yeah. Pretty much everything. All right, now this is actually starting to piss me off because all they're doing, like, I can't even say anything. Like, I like watching bad videos when I can fucking make fun of them, but all they're doing is walking around their house with a fucking metal detector. Like, what are they doing? Like, what the f like, if this was real, this would be paranoia shit. You're fucking walking around your house with a goddamn metal detector. Fucking scanning your walls for cameras. Why would this be underneath our floorboards? We can open this. To All right, I will move on. I will agree to move on. But on the condition, on the condition that motherfuckers don't complain. Next video. The most horrific and scary death in human history. V1 for the sub one, T for the four, uh, 400 bets, or the 500 bets. I really want to move to the U.S. Do you reckon that is a good move, if that makes sense? Up to you. Dickens for the 300 bets. I don't like, I don't want to make those decisions for people. Like, I, like I'll give you advice when it comes to, like, base shit, but, like, do not, I'm not going to give you, a, I'm not going to give you a fucking answer on whether or not you should move. In 2014, Brad Byers. I feel like I should scan this video. Because this has to do with death, and it's starting out with sword swallowing. So... Okay, it looks good. Set a Guinness World Record for swallowing a dozen swords at once. He even managed to turn them in his throat. But death... Yo! What if you sneeze? What if you have to... Like, what if it's like allergy season? And you just start, and then the fucking swords just in, just impale you. This is TOS. This isn't TOS. I love when people say TOS to everything and anything, but it's just not fucking TOS. F came to the unlucky trickster with another object, not even a sharp one. The young Canadian magician decided to shove an umbrella down his throat, and he accidentally pressed the button. The open umbrella blocked the poor man's windpipe and didn't allow him to pull it out. Instead of applause from the audience, he received painful asphyxia. But a terrible and sophisticated death can happen not only to magicians, but to any of us. He died? He died? Bro, why wouldn't they fucking make sure that the button wouldn't work? You're about to swallow an umbrella, they still got the button activated? Us, and it can happen at any second and where we least expect it. What animal can kill you right in your bed? How not to lose your head while traveling by train? How long will it take you to die in a closed coffin? These most terrible and sometimes ridiculous deaths will make you look at the surround- How do you fit an umbrella in your mouth? It's their job. They practice that shit. You can fit an umbrella in your mouth. Like, it would- it, you would have to- you would have to take- it would take some time. But you and you would have to fucking resist your gag reflex, but you're also shoving the umbrella down your stomach. So it's possible, but it's pretty hard. The world a little bit differently. Fire ass intro. Oh my god. 
In the tropics, you can meet many deadly predators. But in this sleepy Brazilian town of Caratinga, a wild cow attacked a farmer. One night in July 2013, Juan Maria de Souza came home after a hard day in the fields and went to bed with his wife. He closed the doors properly so that some wild animals wouldn't get into the house. But it didn't help. In the middle of the night... A cow heard... broke into his house and killed him? You're not. You're fucking kidding me. A cow broke into a man's house and murdered him. An almighty crash. And the next moment, from a height of two... How the fuck would it get on the roof? A cow got on your roof and fell through? One and a half meters, a one and a half ton cow fell on the spouses. It strayed from the herd and wandered onto the farmhouse roof from the hill nearby. Juan was taken to the How hospital. How did it get on the roof? What is your, is your house directly next to a hill? With a broken leg, but unexpectedly passed away. The autopsy showed that the strong blow from the cow caused severe internal bleeding. Jesus. But at least Juan's family had a body to bury. In November 2000, a bloody tragedy shook a Zimbabwean village. Local resident Tendai Maseka didn't have time to get to the toilet, as he was literally torn into pieces. Early in the morning, the police found his remains in the bushes. Experienced officers wouldn't be surprised by an ordinary corpse, but only arms, legs, and a head were left on this poor fellow. Witnesses said Maseka was having a great time at a local bar the night before. Suddenly, at about 11 p.m., he was caught short and went to the outhouse. So, so his whole torso was just gone? Blood-curdling screams were heard from the street. For the African police, this story was quite familiar. Masika was attacked and dragged into the bushes by bloodthirsty creatures we're not used to considering as a threat. These scavengers attack in packs and eat prey on the spot until they're driven off. That's right, unlike lions, hungry hyenas? hyenas don't bite through the victim's throat, ending their suffering. They eat it alive, starting from... Oh my god, that that would be the most painful fucking way. You're getting torn to shreds by hyenas. And they eat your torso. They don't bite your head or your heart or some shit. They just eat you alive. What the fuck? From the stomach. The remains of the gutted Maseka were buried in a closed coffin. The killer hyenas were soon found and shot, although the brutal killings didn't end. To this day, thousands of deaths are on account of these creatures in Africa. But well, Bro, hyenas kill that many people? I know on like a 1v1 basis, hyenas are pretty fucking tiny. Like they're scared. But if there's a pack of them, bro, I'm taking a gun. I'm fucking mowing them the fuck down. They try to attack me. Most of us live far from the dangerous tropics. Many other unexpected dangers prey on our lives. Even more terrible and ridiculous deaths threaten inhabitants of the concrete jungle. Canadian lawyer Harry Hoy killed himself in the early 90s after a seemingly innocuous question from an intern. His law firm was located on the 24th floor of the Toronto Dominion skyscraper. On July the 9th, 1993, Hoy was giving a tour to a new group of junior associates. One of them went to drink water for a couple of minutes, and when he returned, for some reason, everyone applauded Hoy as if he were a rock star. So the intern asked what had happened. Instead of answering, Harry Hoy looked at the large window in front of him and then suddenly took off, ran, and jumped. It turned out that the lawyer did his favorite trick in front of new employees every now and then. He hit the glass with a running start to prove how strong it was. And oh, what a fucking idiot. Oh, what a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. I've heard of this story before. He would fucking, it was like a thing he would do at his work. Because their windows were strong as shit. So people would fucking egg him on. He would just run into the window and it would stop him. But the whole fucking window came out and then he fell to his death. What a way to die. Damn. That thought process on the way down was probably like, damn. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Every time, the window just pushed him back. But this time, the heavy duty window flew out of the frame. It only broke at the bottom along with Harry. Well, at least Harry died quickly, and that can't be said about the guy who was cooked alive by the mixer. Vincent Smith- Oh, in New Jersey! 
Oh, no. Had a dream job. She worked at a candy factory in New Jersey. On July the 9th, 2009, the guy's usual was loading raw materials into a huge tank when suddenly his colleagues noticed that he had disappeared somewhere. And when they looked into the tank, just in case, they saw that the enormous blades of the mixer had caught Vincent and pulled him in and down. He was boiling alive in melted chocolate at a temperature of 120 degrees for several minutes until he suffocated. Now, we all know that... Bro, you would boil alive and die by drowning. What's worse, that or hyenas eating you? Dude, I don't know. Those both suck. That's the worst death? Bro, the boiling... Which one would be quicker? I feel like the hyenas would kill you quicker. Even though hy he, hyenas would be way worse. It would be way worse for like fractions of a second. Yo, I'm banning this kid from my chat. Just gotta, yeah, like, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not taking this seriously just because of your other chats. If you're serious, seek help, but you just kind of seem like you're an attention seeker. Type in fuck me in the ass, and then you say, I'm gonna shoot up my school tomorrow. I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, good shit, buddy. The fuck out of my chat. That sweets are bad for us, but not to that extent. A student at the Chinese University of Huachao died painfully trapped in an elevator. On that fateful evening of September the 14th, 2014, a young guy had been waiting for an elevator to his campus floor for a long time. So when the elevator finally arrived, the young man hurried to get in. But when the guy stepped into it, it suddenly went up. The no! Oh my, yeah, but that's not, is that as painful? Student didn't have time to jump back and was instantly squeezed between floors. And from the first moment when he got stuck, tens of kilograms of pressure- Is that him? Fell on his diaphragm as the elevator was still trying to go up. University security guards immediately called the repair service, but when they rescued the victim, he was no longer breathing. The nah. elevator had been painfully strangling the unfortunate young man for half an hour. But even killer elevators can match the sophistication of another seemingly safe type of transport. Railroads can easily show you the light at the end of the tunnel. In June 2022, a Berlin teenager died from running into a semaphore. Is it possible he was moving so fast that he couldn't turn away? Okay, the thing is, the guy was running on the roof of a moving train. And this time, in addition to the usual poles on the sides of the road, there was a large semaphore with a crossbar on the way. The 15-year-old boy died from- Damn, that's some subway surfers type shit. Getting fucking clotheslined by a traffic light? Fuck shock after the rupture of internal organs yeah that happens all the time in gta now nah, that's literally subway surfers yeah that's literally subway surfers bro getting knocked out running on the top of the train that should just close lines you in just a couple of minutes and on april the 9th 2016 an adult britain invented the railway guillotine he climbed to the side of an inner oh, city train and cut off. appeared rushing past the train completely cut off his head and 17-year-old Asia Leeshan Ferguson had his head blown off with a powerful kick on June 28th. On a roller coaster? Nah. 2008, a guy illegally entered the restricted area of the Six Flags Amusement Park in Georgia by climbing over two high fences. Suddenly, an unusual silhouette started rapidly approaching him, but unfortunately, it was not an amusement park guard. It was a roller coaster with passengers hanging down. At a speed of 85 miles per hour, one of the passengers involuntarily turned into a karate master and literally knocked Asia's head with a kick of inhuman strength. The irony was that the guy had crawled under the tracks trying to find his hat, which had blown up. No! Bro, imagine being that guy, too. Oh, my God. You would blame yourself for the rest of your life, even though it's his fault that he fucking broke into the goddamn roller coaster and started climbing that shit. Nah. All for a hat? Wow, he really knocked that motherfucker's head off. I feel like that would break your feet. Off from a strong wind. Now involuntary mur involuntarily, involuntary murder, yeah. 
And you wouldn't even you wouldn't even get charged with that though. That's entire you're on a roller coaster, you can't move. And he fucking climbed that illegally. Oh, he no longer needed the hat. And Damn, and you're out of six flags. You're out of six flags having a fun day. This isn't like a drive to work or some shit. You're enjoying your day on, on fucking on the Superman ride or some shit. Or, fu or fucking Green Lantern, whatever the hell it is. You're just fucking sitting there. Ooh, this is fun. Woo! And then you fucking kill somebody. Then the rest, then you gotta get interviewed by the cops. And the passenger who beheaded Asia needed surgery to reconstruct his legs. But 18-year-old Romanian Anna Ursu managed to die on a train that wasn't going anywhere. All because of the love of beautiful shots. The girl used to take hundreds of pictures per day, but most of the pictures seemed too simple for her. Anna wanted to take the ultimate selfie that would kill everyone on social media. In search of just such a shot, Anna went to the station and climbed Yeah, I already know this one about to be the dumbest death ever, but he's trying to seek a cool selfie. Bro, that's so fucking stupid. Oh no, I need my I need my selfies more extravagant so I get more likes. Like, bro, come on. Just use Photoshop? Yeah. Use a fucking green screen. You're really about to you really about to risk your life so you can get a fucking cool picture of yourself. Under the roof of a standing electric train, Anna was unaware that death literally That's not even that cool of a selfie though. Like, if I'm about to risk my life for a cool selfie, I'm about to be going skydiving. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not I'm not about to be laying like she's laying on top of a train. The background, you wouldn't even be able to see the train. Hung over her the second she got there and was only waiting for the right moment. It all happened suddenly when the girl decided to lift her leg for a flirtatious look. And although she didn't touch the high voltage wires, they were close enough for Anna to be struck by 27,000 volts. Witnesses said the girl instantly lit up like a bonfire. Soon she died in the hospital, but oddly enough, not due to cardiac arrest from a powerful electric shock, the selfie hunter was killed by burns that covered half her body. Wow. And if you think this is the most terrible or ridiculous death, just wait. Oh, in God, we're in Kentucky now. Now we're in the South here. Illegal for the sub. Faith for the 300 biddies. I'm from Georgia. This was a huge story. It was wild. They closed the park for months. When did that happen? You remember that happening? Orc for the sub. Dude, somebody getting decapitated at a fucking amusement park. Rotten for the 300 bits. Back again, spending little money I have to my favorite streamer. Duh. Or spending the little money I have to my favorite streamer. Duh, bro. You don't have to give money, though. It's entirely optional. It is up to you. Badur uh, Badur B Badura, thank you for the sub. Slinky for the 300 biddies. Watch SML. It's another hard watch, but it's a lot of cringe to see your reaction to. SML sucks. It, like, people recommend that in my video suggestion tab, and I'm like, wow, that's just so cringe. It's, it's, not, it's a hard watch, but it's not even a hard watch that I can commentate on. Should we watch SML one day, chat? It's like a shitty SML video. Those dumbass puppets, just to make fun of it. Not today, but like one day just to make fun of it, I would. But it, I would have to watch. I would have to watch a video just to make fun of it. Like I would not be able to fucking sit through that and enjoy it, because that would be bad. Uh, thank you for the five hundred bits. Thanks for making me laugh. My girlfriend broke up with me yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you for the five hundred bitties. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I could cheer you up in some sense, but I'm sorry your girlfriend broke up with you. Um, and illegal for the sub. Yo, no, the scariest amusement park ride, though, that usually always, like, goes wrong uh, whenever a ride does go wrong is that fucking chair ride. Y'all know what I'm talking about? When you fucking sit there and it raises and then you're in, like, an individual chair and it's like a swing and it circulates. That shit's fucking scary. Swing ride amusement park. Those ones are fucking scary because you're always held up. You're always held up by some, like, weak-ass fucking chain. And you're sitting there, and this one's not even high up. The one at Six Flags, like, that's, like, that's one where if you fall, like, you're actually not going to die. But the Swing Ride Six Flags, like, the one, the ones that are tall as hell, dude, if that detaches, you just fall to your fucking death. Like, you just die. Like, look how high this shit is.
Like, you're sitting there swinging almost vertically. If that detaches, yeah, good shit. You're falling right into the fucking Ferris wheel. You're dead. You're calling, your, your skull's getting crushed. Literally about to be a pancake on that shit. Gluten for the sub, big lease for the 300 bets. You're my favorite streamer. I'm from the UK. Are you taking a pen hit? No. May 18th. Thank you for the 300 bettys. 91, Kentucky resident James Hatcher had to bury his wife twice. It all started when the Hatcher's son died just a few hours after his birth. Because of the incredible grief, James' wife Octavia fell into a deep depression and didn't get out of bed for months. But when she seemed to be getting better, one morning in May, she just didn't wake up. The doctor was called to the house, stated cardiac arrest, and James, heartbroken with double grief, arranged a funeral. However, the inexplicable and sudden death of his wife haunted Hatcher. He refused to believe it, and then, hoping for a miracle, he decided to dig up the coffin. The rich interior of the coffin was torn to shreds. Octavia's fingernails were torn down to the bone, but most importantly, a grimace of horror froze on her face. Apparently, she really came back to life and tried to get out. Although the doctor swore to James- How did she- how was she declared dead then? That his wife had no- That's the worst way to go. Getting buried alive? Pulse before the burial. While investigating this case, the doctors soon discovered that other locals also started falling into an extremely deep sleep. So deep that they couldn't be awakened. It was only then that they realized what? they were dealing with an outbreak of sleeping sickness, usually uncommon in the United States, caused by the bites of tropical tsetse flies. A That's a fucking thing? A fly that bites you and you just pass out? Tiny insect took Octavia to her grave alive. Upon waking up, she could stay alive in a closed coffin from 10 minutes to up to a day and a half. Just imagine the horror that she had to experience, even if Octavia managed to break through and the coffin. And you can't even end your suffering. And even if you break through the coffin, yeah, you're prob the dirt's just going to fall on you and then suffocate you. She would just be covered with They need to bring back those bells. Yeah, that used to be a thing. In in medieval times or even before then, they used to they used to bury you with a string and a bell. And so you could ring it in case you were dead. And I'm pretty sure they it, with popes, they if, if you were a pope, they used to make sure you were dead by hitting you with a hammer or some shit. I I remember learning that too. Yeah, when a when a pope dies, oh, it's a claim. It might be not true. But I was told in in medieval, and not medieval, like older times, when a pope died, they confirmed his death by hitting him in the head with a hammer. Somebody already flexed. Just making sure that motherfucker's dead. You just fucking whack him with a hammer. Just concave their head in. That's fucked. No, but the bell thing makes sense. I don't think they should bring back that now because realistically, like, you would know if somebody's dead. But, like, wow. Dirt. As a result, James Hatcher the had The fact that it used to be so common to bury people alive that they had to put bells in coffins. Bury Octavia again. Only this time, he built a large tombstone for her with a warning to anyone too hasty to bury their loved ones. But the brave... Wait, what year did they die? 1891 warning to anyone too hasty to bury their loved ones but the brave crews of summary somebody redeemed debt is are always ready for the fact that their ship would become a mass grave at the very bottom of the ocean and only once in history the sea brutally killed an entire dying in a submarine that would be pretty bad too team at a depth of just a couple of meters for deep sea divers this isn't even considered a dive they work at great depths and in order to not go up every time they live in capsules with special conditions for months on the Biford Dolphin drilling rig in the North Sea, these crew quarters were also just a few meters underwater. On November the 5th, 19- I heard of this! Oh my god, I think there's a movie about this. It's this fucking chamber with like a pressure release. And like, one, there was four guys, and one of them pulled it, and they don't know who did. And whoever pulled the release killed everybody.
1983, four divers rested in a compartment at a shallow depth while their colleagues outside were disconnecting a bell that had just Oh, been is that not this? This might not be it. ...raised from deep water, but for a Bro, I gotta look that up next if that's not this. ...unknown reason, the divers forgot to close just one damper. And if up to that point the pressure in the capsule reached as much as nine atmospheres, now it was rapidly getting to a normal level. This is much worse than if you were thrown into space without a spacesuit. The blood of three divers in capsules instantly boiled, and those bubbles tore all the insides. But the fourth diver was even less fortunate. The blast wave from the decompression literally shot him out and smeared him along the corridor of the platform. Upon arrival, rescuers found the internal organs and bones of the poor man scattered within a radius of 10 meters. Explosive- He probably died instantly, though. Like, that would be a really quick death. Just because the pressure, it would explode you. You would basically explode from the inside. Slinky for the 1,200 uh, biddies says, dream car, question mark. Um, I would say, like, massive dream car, like, unrealistic. Bugatti Giron, realistic. Like, Stingray Corvette. Lamborghini Huracan. Decompression really butchered him. The only consolation for the relatives was that all the divers died, though brutally, but instantly. Yeah. But not only workers in extreme professions can die so terribly. A Ukrainian chemistry student was torn apart by chewing gum in 2009. What? This guy really liked sour gum. So at home, he specially prepared a bowl of citric acid and dipped his gum in it before putting it in his mouth. Delicious. It's just that on the student's table, there were also bowls with various chemicals for experiments. So, one fateful day, the guy accidentally dipped Bro, his- Bro, are you fucking kidding me? He has his citric acid uh, fucking bowl that he dips his gum in next to some deadly chemical? Chewing gum into a composition of potassium in his mouth, it began to react violently with his saliva. And when he closed his jaw, a loud explosion occurred. The guy remained sitting, but without his head. Yo! Oh my god, no way people died this way. Bro fucking ate chewing gum and his head exploded. I don't believe, why would he have them right next to each other? But in the rarest cases, nothing remains of a person at all. Just like during Aloha Airlines Flight 243 on April 28th, 1988. When the liner was flying over the ocean at a height of Everest, a piece of fuselage shell suddenly fell off. Several dozen passengers suffered from that, but the flight attendant Clarabelle Lansing was just thrown out in a split second, wow. and her body was never found. Which of these deaths do you think was the scariest? Write in the comments. Dude, I would be pissed. Like if I like all the other ones, you're you're dying pretty quickly, or you're actively dying. Like this one, you're getting thrown out of a plane, and you're probably just actively thinking, like, bro, damn, like, like I I'm, I'm really falling to my death, and then you have a heart attack before you hit the ground. Like that would suck. The drowning one would be pretty bad in the coke. The drowning one was bad. I would say that was the worst. What was the worst? Drowning in hot coke. You're boiling. You're boiling and drowning at the same time. That's fucking awful. The hyena one, the buried alive too. Buried alive would probably be the worst. Then the boiling and then the hyena. Yeah, for sure. All right. That was a good ass video though. All right, next video. How much money does Mr. Beast make? Or how much money Mr. Beast makes? If he can make a three point- Jesus Christ, that's loud. I'll tell you how much I make off YouTube. Well, I never thought that this would happen, and no, I'm not talking about being stuck inside of a makeshift jail cell, but instead, getting an inside look into the business of one of the most successful creators of all time, Mr. Beast. 96,000 a month. 157 million views. That's why when you say, like, well, do you set aside money? 39 days of no video, and you can still do that on a side channel. 39 days, no videos, but he's still making 96k a month? Oh. EO for the 300 bets. Joe, look up Haunted Mind Drop, Colorado, six-year-old dies. Hmm. 
Wan Jol or Wan Gol wasn't buckled in and died after falling more than 100 feet from their seat in a haunted drop ride. Bro, not being buckled in one of those drop rides. I would hold on. Have you all ever thought about that? Being in a fucking... You know those drop... It's just the drop rides where they literally escalate you really slowly and then they hold you and they drop. I've always thought if I was ever on... I always hold on really tight. Not because I'm scared, but it's just like... What if it disconnects? If I hold on, I won't die. But if I let go, then I'll float. Because it'll just detach and then all fall. Like, it'll remove from me. Because it's not even falling. It's dropping, like, very quickly. His humble beginnings, Jimmy Donaldson was able to turn his genuine passion for making YouTube videos into a conglomerate to businesses, restaurants, charities, and investments. And today we're getting an inside look into Forbes' highest paid creator, allowing us to see exactly how he spends his day and his money. Enjoy. When is the moment that you realized that you could turn this into a business? Probably when I started making around twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month is when it kind of clicked in my head. I was just like, wait a minute. If I just had a helper, I could do this two times faster. I could upload twice as much. And so then I just brought on a guy to help me move boxes and just help with the simple stuff. And I was like, Yeah, bro, I remember Jimmy's old videos used to just be like at home shit. Like all those Orbeez in the pool and all that shit. Like now he has like actual production grade, like almost movie like videos. But back then it used to be literally just be like giving away money, giving away money, doing like crazy shit. Having a bunch of Legos, like whatever the fuck. Yeah, well, now yeah, counting to one million. That was before when he did like the reading the dictionary or saying Logan Paul a hundred thousand times. That was before he was even really Mr. Beast, just because he wasn't really doing the style videos he does now. I'll hire an editor, and then I just basically hired someone every month for the last like six years. Yeah, so we have basically cameras for different things um as the videos have gotten crazier we've just built up a giant arsenal of stuff how many hours do you imagine having that many fucking cameras that was for the burger video i was in so many cameras we've just built up a giant arsenal of stuff how many hours do you work in a day i would say since i was 11 years old almost every waking hour of the day i'm thinking of youtube in some form or capacity i feel like it was almost like baked in my DNA like it yeah. just flows in my blood the the no, name I do think I don't think he works like 16 hours a day but I genuinely think Jimmy works so much especially compared to like the boys that are in the video like they show up they're there like briefly but they're mainly like for the video he's still a part of the behind the scenes shit you're in a video yeah it's the next video coming out um Nah, but he probably, like, in the burger video I was in, I mean, I'm not going to spoil the video or anything. We'll just watch it, and I'll react to it and, and talk about, like, more in-depth shit then. But, like, Jimmy was, like, on, like, four hours of sleep. Like, it was, like, a 12-hour challenge. We were there. We were there from... for We were there for a while. We got there at, like, 10 a.m. It didn't start till, like, 1, and we didn't leave till 3. A.M. And then I got on a flight at 7 a.m. I was there. I was there. I, we pull up. Well, I mean, I was there the day before. I was there the night before. Probably pulled up at like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Chatted with a bunch of the crew members. Slept. Woke up. Pulled up 10 a.m. Started at 1 p.m. And was there till 3. I was so tired. I ended up throwing out my shoes. I'll talk about that more then. I ended up throwing out my shoes because they were so covered in burgers. Oh, it was so gross. It was like I had like matted burger meat on the bottom of my fucking shoes and shit. Oh, God. Well, I'll talk about that then when, when we actually watch the video. Logan for the 300 bits. The police sim stream was super entertaining yesterday. Yeah, it was a fun game. We're definitely going to play it sat uh, next Saturday again. A urge to create videos and to build a YouTube channel and build businesses. Are you in the video for long? I don't know. See, that's the thing about, like, I don't know. We'll see when the video comes out. It was me and two other people. It was me, Jack Innanen, and Brianna Chicken Fry. We were the three influencers in the challenge. We had to get a 6,000-pound burger eaten in 10 hours for 600 grand, split amongst three of us. Uh, you would lose money along the way with certain shit. There's a bunch of, like, stipulations about, about the challenge. I'm not going to give anything away that wasn't in the TikToks that I posted. But, yeah, no, it was, it was, a, it was a big challenge, but... I don't know what I don't know how the video is gonna be. 
Just because it's a, you got to realize, like, every Mr. Beast video, they're recording, what, 10, 12 hours of footage on 60 cameras, and the videos are how long? 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Don't fucking spoil. I'm not spoiling it. Bro, stop spoiling. I'm not spoiling. I don't even know how the video is going to be. I'm, ta I'm talking about how long the videos are. The video will probably be like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, but there's 12 hours of footage from 60 cameras. Like, that's nuts. It's when just does it come out? It's the next video. I don't know. People have been asking me when that shit comes out since October. I We filmed it in October. October 3rd is when I filmed it. It was my one-year anniversary with Brooke. I was in North Carolina filming the Mr. Beast video. Dude, how what how many months has it been? November, December, January, February. It's been over four months since I since I filmed it. Just, that's just what I do. And if I like try to take time off, I just get depressed and I, mm. I feel like I lose my They have so many videos on 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 back roll though. Like you might think that <laughs> They're just filming shit and immediately posting. No, they have like, they probably have like eight. I don't know how many. <coughs> I'm just guessing. But they probably have like eight videos ready to post right now. And he posts like once or twice a month. <coughs> so it's like half a year of posting ready. My sanity. But I also feel like I lose my sanity because we've cranked the treadmill so much on creating videos. So it's like weird, but... If I'm not creating... Somebody said, check Kai Sinat's fucking stream. He's showering. Sinat's... Does he know no one can hear what he's saying? He's just kind of screaming. Dude, he's really been streaming for 19 days. Wow. Do y'all think he'll beat Ludwig's sub record? I think that's what he's going for now. He's at 176,000 subs. What is Ludwig's sub record? Ludwig's sub record is 283. Ooh, I don't think he'll beat it. I don't think he'll beat it. He needs another 110,000 subs. He started the subathon with like 65K. Like, I don't think he'll get it. I think that'll be nuts if he does, but he has 11 days. Or he has nine days now, other than today. Yeah, no, he can't get that. I don't think he'll be able to. Just in, unless people start subbing out the ass. Then I don't feel fulfilled. I don't feel like I'm progressing. Then I feel like you could have just not told us about the video, and we would have not asked about it all the time. Uh, here's why you're wrong. Uh, I posted a fucking I posted three TikToks about it during the challenge. People would have known. You could have just not told us. Uh, no, because the challenge involved people from TikTok. Like I'm wasting my time. The problem I'm having right now is I struggle to wind down at night because I just work and work and I'll lay in bed. And then I'll afterwards, his subs will go back down. Well, yeah, no shit. But he'll still hover around like 65K subs. Kai Sinat's the biggest Twitch streamer. Think of ideas and I'll think of just like, you know, what we could have done better, how we could edit a video better or finances or whatever. So I'm trying to like actually find ways to like pull back a little bit and so I sleep a little bit better. Hopefully it's not too messy. So I have everything I need in here. Um, yeah, it's nuts that he sleeps in his fucking office. Like, he doesn't even have a house. Mr. Beast just sleeps in his office. Pull back a little bit, and so I sleep a little bit better. Hopefully it's not too messy. So I have everything I need in here. Um, like, my bro. A little bit, and so I sleep a little bit better. Hopefully it's not too Like, that's office shit. That's literally fucking... Bro, I, that, I, I came in late, right? But they toured it. Not his room, but they toured, like, their office and shit. I think it was Jack. Oh, Brianna wasn't there. It was Jack and somebody else. They came early, and they got a tour of it. I wish I fucking showed up early. I should have taken another flight. But, bro, he literally sleeps in his office. So I have everything I need in here. Um, my bed, 
my work computer, a little bench press to get exercise in, a toilet and a shower, and that's my closet. I was on the cover of Rolling Stone recently, which who cares about magazines, whatever, but Steve Jobs was also on the cover of Rolling Stone. So I'm getting this blown up to be the same size as this. So I can have like just matching posters of us both on the cover of Rolling Stone. Could you walk us through a, a normal day? Next I week? feel like he's obsessed. Like I, I like Jimmy, I feel like Jimmy's a nice guy. I feel like he's obsessed with his work. Like he, I think he loves his job, but I also think it's like, it's his life. Like it's his life now. Like he's like, he, he just does that. Just tell the plane to go faster. What the fuck are you talking about? This week, I'm going to be flying to India. Uh, rotten for the three hundred bits. Do you get paid for being in Mr. V's videos apart from the prize money? Or is it more of a raffle thing where you either win or you don't? You either... I it, I mean, it depends. I, I, I don't know in other people's scenarios. But usually, there's some sort of compensation for being in the video if you don't win. But it is not a lot in comparison to if you do win. Uh, it is nowhere near the same. Like you could, like you have like you get like a day rate. It's like work, right? So if you don't win, you still get paid, but you're not gonna get paid nearly what the prize would be. India to stay in like a one dollar hotel and then like a ten thousand dollar hotel in the Maldives, and then when I get back, well that means gaming and reacts fall behind. So I'm gonna have to do a whole day of catching up on our reacts videos. And I'm gonna have to do a day or two catching up on our gaming videos, and then I've been gone. So now I gotta spend a whole day catching up on the creative. Well, I would be so fucking. I'm already stressed out on social media. Like, from having to do a bunch of shit and balance it with college. If I was him, bro, I would be fucking bugging. Even if I had that many workers. Dude, he has to record so much content, it's insane. Even all our other main channel videos. Like, and then he has a React channel, main channel, second channel, philanthropy. He makes appearances. He goes on podcasts. Like, fuck. The video after that, we're going to do, like, the world's largest experiments. Like He owns businesses. Mr. Beast Burger, Feastables. He's fucking pulling up TikTok. Oh, nah. Nah, I'd go crazy. Try to make the world's largest balloon. You know, and then you Beast Burger and Feastables are probably going to want my head on a platter because I just spent two weeks traveling filming that video and I haven't been talking to them as much. So then probably those meetings will probably fly into town. The main channel is the priority. And then around the main channel schedule, the rest of my life kind of like forms with all the other businesses. Yeah. Well, these are just our English channels. Yeah. So then we're going to have Spanish. Who the fuck signed that? There's so many damn signatures. Portuguese, Brazil, Japanese. Hindi, and they'll probably go down to like here. My well of knowledge needs to constantly be expanding, so I have more things to draw inspiration from from our ideas. If not, you're gonna get the same ideas over and over again. So it happens for a lot of creators. That's why their videos are repetitive and always the same thing, because if you're not constantly- Well, he also has the benefit of having a creative crew. You know what I mean? Like if you're an individual creator, you're kind of on your own. And he probably does come up with a majority of the ideas, or at least has a, a massive input, but he also has people that can give him shit to do. Learning new things, then your ideas are just limited to what's in your head, and eventually you're gonna drain it. How many hours would you say it takes to edit the average video? So our 100 million subscribers special, I think we were just doing the math. I think it was like collectively like 1700 hours across all the editors. The thing is like, I'm not the easiest- That is fucking crazy. If I was a Mr. Beast editor, that, that might be even worse. Imagine being handed, like, uh, 400 hours of footage. 500 hours of footage. All right. Uh, you're going to cut this down to 15 minutes. And you're going to make it make sense. Because it's not even, like, just pulling the best clips. It has to be seamless. Like, it has to, it has to be good. Like, you can't just fucking cut that shit down and just be like, all right, here's the fucking funniest moments. Plus different perspectives and audio tracks. Yeah, when I was there, we had to sync up our audio. We would do, like, claps, and then they would check all this other shit. To work with in that regard, like, I really And they have to watch it. It's not just, like, it's not like the editor, oh, pulling best clips. They have to watch all 400 hours of footage, do a rough cut, do another cut, and then keep cutting. They probably get segmented groups. Like, I would assume each editor is probably getting, like, 20 hours of footage, and then they cut it, and then they move on, and then they end up splicing it together. But still. Want to make the video as good as possible. Editors probably get paid good? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, super for the three bits, or for the three. Did you win any money in the video you're in if you can disclose this? Cannot until the video comes out. Wit for the sub. 
And so we'll just be like, well, what if we try this? And so we'll have to like, like basically re-edit the video to see if this other way produces a better story and if it flows better. And it's a lot of testing. So we usually edit a video like, you know, five or seven times. Working for Jimmy is like the most particular process. I met him. I met him. If he's not completely happy with the video, then it just keeps on going for like, like an extra week. And we'll just every single he day. He made me stressed out. I remember that shit. I remember I'm talking to him before the challenge starts. And see, I'm not giving anything away. I remember I was like, all right, how do I win this? And he was like talking to me about some shit. He's like, I don't know, man. This is going to be really fucking hard. And I was like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? I can maybe stress as hell. It's like, it's, it's a long process, but at the same time, it improves quality. Apparently, if you make a pee joke, it will drop your attention by around 5%. No pee jokes, that's just a no-go, no matter how funny it is. I mean, I think it's funny, but it doesn't matter. It's just a no-go, like, you can't do that. It's just, no, no. Do you ever take days off? If you make a pee joke, it drops your attention span. So I found giving into my natural instinct works best. So I just work every day, every hour of the day, um, until I just burn out. Anytime I try to stick to a schedule, it just doesn't work. Cause there are certain Saturdays I'm just fired up and like God himself couldn't stop me from going and working yeah. on a video. And then there are other Saturdays the way I'm burnt out. And so, yeah, I just, I just kind of It just get... becomes a habit though. He probably stresses himself out when he doesn't do it. That's what I do. That's why like, like I, I, I think most streamers, I mean, he's not a streamer, so it's just a different realm, but. When you stream, there's a lot of, there's two different types of streamers. There's streamers that are lazy as fuck and they just stream when they feel like it. And then there's streamers that are on like a segmented schedule. I'm on the segmented schedule and, oh, and then there's a third type. Then there's like the XQC type where he doesn't have a schedule, but he'll go live when he feels like it and then go live for like 16 hours. All like I, if I don't go live on like segmented days or I don't go live long enough or I don't go live enough days of the month, like I stress myself out about it. Like Clint C, you could say Clint Stevens. Yeah. Clint Stevens goes live like once every other month, just about, but yeah, no, there's, it, that, that's, that's what it is. I stress myself out though. Like there's days where I'm burnt. Like there's never a day where I'm like, fuck, I hate streaming. Like I love streaming, but there's days where I'm like, I'm tired. Like, I, I would rather lay down, but I'm still going to stream because I want to stream. Like, I know I should. I know you guys want to see me. Like, I have the stomach, like, I still have the stomach virus, but like two days ago on Friday, I felt like shit. Like, if I, if I didn't have that schedule and I was like a streamer that just streamed when I felt like it, I probably would have just done one of those bullshit things where they like tweet out, hey guys, not feeling the best today, not going to go live, but like, I'll still go live. Unless I'm, like, actually so sick that, like, I can't entertain people if I'm actively throwing up or something. Can you react to Teenager's Darkest Secrets? Send it in the video suggestion tab. Uh, also, shout for the Discord. Exclamation point Discord if you guys want to join the Discord and send videos for me to react to. Uh, or games for me to play. I have a game suggestion tab and a video suggestion tab. If mods could type the link, that would be dope. But, uh, back to what I was saying. Um... Yeah, no, like, I stress myself out with that. Same with TikTok. I always have, and YouTube. I've, I, I'm very, I post three to four times a week on YouTube. I post three times a day on TikTok, and I stream six days a week. There's some times where I don't do that, like, in the summer where I take vacations, or if it's, like, a certain specific thing where I'll take another day off. But, like, if I'm not actively on vacation, I will stream six days a week. If I'm not actively doing something, I will I will always do that. And I will, even if I'm on vacation, I will always post three to four times a week on YouTube and I will always post three times a day on TikTok or two to three times a day on TikTok just because I can pre-record. And if I don't do that, I freak myself out. Uh, Goo up for, uh, for the 510 bits. I think that's in part why I'm successful though on, on social media. I, I don't think, I don't think I'm like that. I don't think I'm the best content creator out there. I think I'm more consistent than a lot of people. I think that's the issue with a lot of people on social media is they're just lazy. I'm still lazy when it, terms, when it comes to like getting new types of content. Like I really don't want to order the VR headset. I want to do VR streams, but I don't want to set that up because I'm fucking lazy. But like the shit I do now, I will always do because if I don't, it stresses me out. I like being in that scheduled mindset because that breeds success. Go up for the five or ten bits. I, and then it just gives you guys the capability of watching me and knowing when I'm going to be live. Like, when streamers go live whenever they feel like it, like, do you guys watch streamers like that? Like, I wouldn't be able to watch stream. Like, how would you know? Like, how do you know when they're... Like, you guys know I'm going to go live 2 p.m. Uh, on weekends, 4.30 on weekdays, other than tomorrow. Tomorrow, by the way, chat, 
Live at 2 p.m. EST tomorrow. It's President's Day. So it's not going live at 4.30. But I'll mention that at the end of stream too. But like other like streamers that go live randomly, like 4 p.m., 10 p.m., 1 a.m., like how the fuck, like I, I would never, I would never be able to watch them. Because I'd be like, oh, I'm already doing some other shit. Like, you don't have it scheduled. Like, you guys have my, some of you guys have my stream in your schedule. Like, you guys are like, okay, I'm going to watch Joe today. Or maybe not some days. Maybe I'll, you don't know how long you're going to watch me. But you're like, all right, I'm going to tune into the Joe stream. If I just went live randomly, you wouldn't know. And I do time, I do sometimes do random late night streams, but that's infrequent. And it's always an addition. It's never, it's never the first thing. Somebody said shut up already. Yeah, I'm timing you out for the rest of the fucking day. Get the fuck out of here. Hate motherfuckers like that. Ain't nobody care. Shut up. Then fucking leave, dickhead. Grew up for the 510 bits. I know an editor is, his channel is a mundane TV. He edits for four channels. Most videos are about three, 30 minutes or three hours long. He edits in 2x speed and takes like a day to edit his videos for Sea Dog. Uh, and Quadangle for the 1,000 bits. Hey, Joe, is Mr. Beast going to give you a shout out in the video you're in? Probably not. I don't really know. Doesn't really matter. I was in a Mr. Beast video. It's pretty fire. I don't really give a fuck if I get a shout out. Give in to my emotions and just work when I want to. All their walls are whiteboard paint. Yeah. So all throughout here is just all our upcoming videos. Why were people saying Papa Jeef? I'm not going to Papa Jeef today because I don't think I should drink caffeine. Uh, if I have a stomach virus. I don't know if that's good. Like if it was any other day and I didn't have the stomach virus, I would. But I don't know if it's good to have caffeine on a stomach virus. Soylent for the fringe bits. Hope your day's going well. I wanted to ask you if you'll ever do a cooking stream. Yes. When I move though. Because the kitchen I have now isn't really good for a cooking stream. There's no good angles. Videos. This yeah. is the, the box they delivered the 100 million. I'm going to be 100% honest. I had never even read it. I didn't realize it was really? customized for every person. Remind me to read that later. I thought it was just the copy print to everyone. Do you know yeah, how they do have the copy print shit. For, for, not for the 100 mil one, but for these. That was the 100K one. This is the mill one. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's like a copy-paste message. They might sign it, but I think it's also, I think it's also just copy-paste signed. Isn't Susan not the fucking CEO of YouTube anymore? Didn't she step down too? I still frame that shit though. Even though it was a copy-paste message, I'm obviously going to keep the plaques, but I'm also going to keep the message. I know a lot of people that just throw that shit out. The, the fucking paper. I keep that, though. Why, do you stream, why did you stream early today? See, you're just someone that doesn't know my schedule, right? I stream 2 p.m. on weekday or weekends all year round. 2 p.m. weekends all year round. I stream 4.30 weekdays, but in the summer, I always stream at 2. But Saturday, Sunday, I always stream at 2 p.m. ESC. Always. Almost always. Um, I never stream at like 4.30 on, on a Saturday or Sunday. But tomorrow, chat, I will be live at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Not the rest of the week, but only tomorrow because it's President's Day. So I'm going to be live early tomorrow, too. How many income sources you have? I that... thought it was 2.30. No, it was 2. That's an interesting one. Well, let's see. We have Beast Burger, uh, Feastables. We have a, a company where we dub channels, which runs our Mr. Beast Espanol and stuff like that. We do that for other people. We have Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Gaming, Beast Reacts. Yeah, merch as another one. Honestly, I'd have to like open my bank account <laughs> and look through it. Cause like, there's also like sub opportunities. Like we occasionally do things for like, we built this app. We had people put their finger on the it's app. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we're building other apps. Did y'all and... ever participate in that shit? I never did that. In the future. What would you say your main- I remember when they came out though. The source of income is, if you were to pick one oh, thing. Gosh. So I'll yeah. say this, cause I tweeted, you can throw it up. That, uh, Cause I knew I wouldn't win. Like, wait, oh, whoever keeps their finger on the app the longest, like, bro, like, I know there's motherfuckers that would do that shit for, like, three weeks. Like, I'm gonna fucking get tired. Burger has done over 100 million in sales, and obviously that number has grown a lot bigger since then. So, like, but again, it's because it's something people can repeatedly buy. Merch, the best margins, but, you know, it's, you just, like, a burger or whatever, you know, is something someone can order multiple times a week. Merch, someone's only gonna buy, like, twice a year, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? What about sponsorships? Oh yeah, and sponsorships. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, those have gotten crazy recently. I'll tell you over or under. What's what's the most you think I've gotten for a brand deal? Most he's ever gotten for a brand deal in a video, ten million dollars. I'm gonna go ten million. 
I'm going to go 10 million because, dude, like, they, they got, that's how he pays for his videos now, too. I mean, it is, they're still pulling a lot of out-of-pocket shit, but, like, he, he used, like, when he started out his videos, it used to be just, like, sheer reinvestment, but now it's, like, almost all profit because the sponsors will pay for his videos. Three million. He got offered one billion for his channel. Yeah. But I hate the people that are like, oh, Mr. Beast, a billionaire. No, he's not a billionaire. Like, his channel's worth a billion, but how do you value a channel, right? Like, you can't value a channel. Because, like, yes, Mr. Beast's channel is maybe worth a billion. But if anybody ran it that wasn't him, it would get no views. You know what I mean? Like, people do that all the time. Hey, if, like, if somebody bought Mr. Beast's account, oh, they would make so much money. Yeah, but if you started posting on Mr. Beast's account and you weren't Mr. Beast, they're not going to fucking watch it. Uh, oh, what did he say? What do you think I've gotten for a brand deal? Three million. More. Uh, Definitely more. <laughs> well, uh, I was hoping you would say something lower. We've definitely done deals around that ballpark, yes. <laughs> oh, it's less. How many people work for you? It's definitely getting big. That's almost an answer. He said over or under. I, I'd say in general, right? Between feastables and all the stuff we're doing. Like full-time yeah, 10 million might be too much. Because 10 million for one video sponsor, unless it's like a fucking combo deal. Like when he would do Honey. Like if he's just doing a straight one-time video sponsor, maybe 5 mil. Calorie, probably 150 people. Maybe, maybe 200. Just kind of depends. It's a lot of like part-time jobs and second-hand jobs that are spun off. And that's where it gets into like the hundreds, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is our studio. It's around 40,000 square feet. Studio space in America currently is in very high demand. People are, are struggling to keep up because content creation just in general is growing year over year. So having a big place like this with no beams, which is what was here when we bought them, there's like hundreds of these, which is how most warehouses are. You can't film movies. You can't film content in them. So it's very, very hard because it's expensive. It's much easier just to throw up beams to hold up the roof to find wide open space like this with none. So that's why spaces like this are pretty rare. Do you know how much it costs in terms of running your own? He knows so much. It's fucking nuts. And he's so young, too. He's only three years older than me. Soylent for the 300 bets. Hope your day's going well. Oh, I already read that. Slasher for the 300 bets. Waffles or pancakes? Can you shout out my friend Jaden? I'm not shouting out your friend, but hello, Jaden. Um, waffles or pancakes? Don't really know. Don't really have a preference there. How is he that smart at 24? It's just experience. If you have more life experience, you mature quicker. Overall business every month. Like on the gaming channel, we probably are spending like, I don't know, depends, like a couple hundred thousand a month. Reacts, a couple hundred thousand a month. The main channel now, probably like three or four million a month. <laughs> um, like Feastables is spending probably a million or so a month. Beast Burger, same thing. I mean, if you're cleaning like marketing and stuff, a couple million a month. Four so million a month on videos. Dude, what if it's a flop? I mean, they never get flops because it's always like confirmed, right? It's always like, okay, this will be a good video. Like they're always getting, they're always cranking numbers. But imagine them like popping like three mil video, a loss. Just like gets like, gets like 10 million views instead of like a hundred million. I mean, even like our beast uh, philanthropy, our, our charity, you know, I put a lot of money into that so we can have I food. I thought he was 30. No, he's like, he was born in like 1998. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, May 7th, 1998. And stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pretty crazy. Who manages that? Um, well, if you go over there up those stairs, you'll see a little accounting team that I walk in and I go, I want to give 100 people $100,000. They go, yeah. yeah. The amount of accountants he has is probably nuts. Just to go through the legality of that shit, being able to give out that much money. You're crazy. And I'm like, good luck. <laughs> and here is 10 other doors. And those are the people that I stress. Joe is 2001. I'm 2002. Where did you get that? I'm 21 years old. Do the math. Like, let's just do, let's just do some rough math here. If I was born in 2001, I would be, I would, I would be, I would be not 21. I'd be turning 22. No. That's out with money. The money is best spent in like just doing grander things that I find interesting that are unique, original, and like, for the most part, you can't find what we do anywhere else. Yeah. At, not at the scale we do. And you I said he was three years older than you. I'm 21. He is 24. 
He was born in May. He will turn 25 this year. I just turned 21. That would mean that I am three years younger than him currently. However, he was born four years before me. Do we get it? Somebody said Joe doesn't know math. You don't know math. You said he's 23, you liar. I said 24. Snow for the sub. And I think it's like, that is where I want to put the money in. Because then that's what gets people. I was born in February. So 2003. No, I was born February 6th, 2002. He was born in May of 2000. Uh, uh, he was born in May of 1998. Do the fucking math. Coming back, they enjoy it, and then everything else benefits. Yeah. Do they make sure that money is, like, put aside just for you, like, just in case? People have been saying that since I had a million subscribers, and the videos get views even if I don't upload. So, yeah. like, if I really wanted to, I could just stop spending and just live off the money. 531,000 views. Yeah, whenever he wants to retire, he could just fucking stop posting. My, my thing, though, is do you think he has full... I didn't ask him this. I would never ask him this, but... Do you think he has full ownership of every account or do you think it's kind of like a company? Do you think there's like, it's not like a shareholder, right? Because there's no shares in Mr. Beast. But do you think that he owns like 100% and just has employees all under him? Or do you think there's like co-ownership to a degree? It has to be a company. Yeah, it, it could be an LLC or a, or, or a mass media company. But even if it is that, he could still have 100% ownership. I think he has 100% ownership and everybody is under his payroll. And I think he just has everybody manage it. It's just all his own. I think he has 100% ownership. So if he wanted to, he could fire everybody. I think when he's done, he could fire everybody and just live off the ad rev and just break in like an extra 10, 20, 30 mil over the course of like two years and then just retire. Closure, wow. it's late at night. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, oh my god. When gosh. we uploaded the island video, we were doing 5 million an hour. So here's. Look at all the channels. Here's the other channels. Pick any channel you that want. That is so many fucking channels. That night, I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, oh my god. When gosh. we uploaded the island video, we were doing 5 million an hour. So here's. Look at all. It's mainly the, it's mainly the different languages. He has so many channels where it's just dubbed. The channels. Here's the other channels. Pick any channel you want. Bro, that was his personal YouTube account. Jimmy Donaldson. Pick any channel you want. $63,000 a month. Literally, all I want to do is make the best food as possible. Yeah. That's why I live in the studio right over there. So I don't, like, I'm not worried about paying for a mansion. I don't drive a Lamborghini. I purposely have a really like dumb. You get access to Carl's, yeah. Down lifestyle, so when because it gives you freedom, like <laughs> yeah. Mr. Beast only Jimmy Donaldson has only two subscribers. L, L. You know most people can't reinvest in their business. Can you watch Portrait of God? I already have. Because when they get to this level, they're worried about their ten million dollar mansion. They're like four or five cars and insurance and keeping up with that, and then like their second home and all these other things. I just cut it all out. I have no like personal debt or th like things you know that i have to pay for so i can just go all in on the business because it's like it doesn't even matter you know what i mean how much do you think it costs? and he's so young he could literally just ride this for another six years and then live his life like like he's so young he doesn't need to be like a lot of people are like oh why don't you just splurge your money to a degree i'm kind of thinking the same damn thing like jimmy buy a lambo or some shit fuck but like he could wait to build an elevator uh my guess here is probably going to be 80 grand uh, i think that was around 200,000. why so much i th i said the same thing <laughs> i was like in my head i was like oh an elevator is like 20 grand <laughs> how do you plan to expand the business Ooh, that's where it gets fun i think for starters you know why expand like bro they're ha like do you think he'll ever reach a point where he just stops like when do you think jimmy will be done doing youtube like, I always sit there and I think of myself and I'm like, damn, like, am I going to be doing this when I'm like 30? No. But like, he could theoretically just do this forever. He's just a host, right? When are the horror reacts after this video? I feel like he'll be done by the time he's 35.
I think in 11 years, Jimmy will be done. By then. Anytime before then. But I don't know. Like, I feel like the average influencer is less. Like, the average influencer is like me. Like, the average influencer is five to seven years. I've been doing social media for three. I could, feasi I could feasibly see myself doing it for another, like, another six or seven. I could see myself, not TikTok. TikTok, I think I'll be done in, like, fucking two years. YouTube and Twitch, I think I'll, I'll ride for, like, six years. Six, seven years. Yo, Xander for the fucking gifted! Uh, Xander Witch for the fucking 50 gifted subs. Bro, that's 100 this stream. Xander, what the fuck? What the fuck? So many fucking subs. Dude, you're fucking nuts. I can't scream because then I start getting like this fucking gag reflex. Ugh. Thank you for the fucking subs, Xander. God damn. That is so many fucking subs. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you for the 50 fucking gifted, Xander. God damn. My God, I appreciate that shit. What the fuck? Snow for the sub, too. Bro. Genuinely, though, Xander, thank you for the 50 gifteds, bro. Fucking 100 gifteds this stream. How many subs are we even at? 186. That is nuts. 100 of those are from you. That is fucking crazy. Thank you for the subs. Actually. Dub. The fuck was I even talking about? I fucking forget. Oh, how long I'm doing social media and how long he is. I don't know. How long do y'all see me doing social media for? Well, it's how long I stay relevant, number one. Uh, I feel like I it fall off or not, I don't want to be doing TikTok in like three years. I think TikTok's not nearly as fun. I think like YouTube and Twitch, four to six years. Your whole life? Yeah, no. I, even, if I, even if you could guarantee that I would never fall off, I, like, I will fall off one day, but even if you could guarantee that I wouldn't, I would, I would be done social media by the time I have a kid. I would not want to be on social media but when I have a kid. That would bother me. Um, TikTok has no interaction. That's what I'm saying. There's no, there's, no, there's no follower loyalty. There's no longevity. And there's no interaction with TikTok. It's like, it, it's, it's, just, it's just not there comparable to Twitch and YouTube. Like TikTok, you can, you can watch 100 creators in like 10 minutes. YouTube and Twitch, you're watching two creators in an hour. Like, you have fan loyalty, follower loyalty. Together Aura for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you for the fucking gifteds together. Holy fucking shit. Appreciate that shit as well. Thank you, Together Aura 501, for the fucking subs. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the fucking gifteds, bro. God damn, Together Aura popping off. 393 subs total. That is fucking nuts. Number six top gifter ever. Crazy. Thank you for the fucking gifted together. I genuinely appreciate that shit. Massive dub. Thank you for the fucking gifted. Wow. Fucking 20 gifted subs from together. Xander for the 50. And another 50 from Xander before. That is fucking crazy. Holy shit. Thank you. What would you, what would you work after social media or will you retire? I don't know. I would never retire. Even if I had enough money. Even if I, like, say I ride social media for six more years and I have enough money to retire, I wouldn't want to because I'll still be young. I want to work. I like working. I like working in things that I like. I like social media, so I like doing social media. I would want to own something and work on a business. I don't know what it would be, though. K uh, Kank for the sub, Adam for the 500 bets. It wouldn't be something with my degree, though. A lot of people always ask, like, oh, you're a philosophy major. Are you ever going to be a philosophy teacher? No, because you have to get a doctorate or a master's for that, and that's just a pain in the ass. I like philosophy because I like philosophy. Or I do philosophy because I like philosophy. It's not because I want to get a job in it. Um, but I also do like doing philosophy streams and shit like that. I feel like once you stop doing social media, you'll miss it and go back to it. Eh. I do think I'll always have an attachment to social media. I don't think I'd ever quit quit, right? I think I would do update videos. Like once every, once every half year. Joe's getting old. Well, then stop watching me. Oh, you're saying I'm getting old, like, age-wise. If you continue to grow, will you still stop? Yeah, eventually. I would eventually still stop. I think the definitive end point is when I would have a kid, whatever age that would be. I'm 21 now. 
Earliest I would have a kid is 28. Latest I would have a kid is 32. So whenever that is. So, but I don't see myself doing social media for another 11 years. Realistically, TikTok, another two to three. YouTube, YouTube and Twitch, another like five to eight. That's about it though. But I mean, eight years is a while. I'd be 29. Sleepies for the 300 bets. Um, you could have a kid and do social media. I wouldn't want them to grow up with me as a, a social media influencer. All right, back to the video. I just want to keep making the best videos possible. I have to reiterate, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but right. everything I do stems from that. Because if I stop making the best videos, people stop watching. And then Feastables is irrelevant. Beast Burger is irrelevant. All the companies are just literally irrelevant. So that, and then stemming off from that, um, next I really want to get into making mobile games. I think that'd be a lot of fun because we have a gaming channel that gets like 20 million views a video. And then I really want to scale up Feastables, launch new products. We're going to launch- Yo, if he launched a game, that would be so successful. He shouldn't do mobile though. Mobile would be most profitable, but if Mr. Beast worked on a fucking actual game, like a Steam game, that would be nuts. Cookies and then Beast Burger, we're getting into building physical locations. So in two weeks, we open our first physical Beast Burger. We have 2000 virtual, we're building that. And then based on how that goes, I want to build 10 and then 50 and then 100 physical locations um, and just, you know, keep leveraging the brand. I like pushing myself and I see it as a sport and like going hard in business and, and building them, um, even though it's stressful and it's very difficult. Would and like sometimes six, I'm like, would you stop in six to seven years if you were big as Mr. Beast? I would never be as big as Mr. Beast. There's a follower cap for what content you do, right? My follower cap on TikTok, I'm almost at it, right? Because like you, I only can, the only people that can follow me are people that speak English and people that like my content. And I already have 21 mil. For YouTube, I think my follower cap is like 50, or not 50. For, for YouTube, I think my, my follower cap ever would be like four mil, four mil. For Twitch, like three. Because like you're in a niche, right? Like I'm a niche. You guys watch me because you like my content. I don't appeal to everybody. Mr. Beast appeals to everybody. Most people know him. Most people like his content. Not everybody likes me. Them, um, even though it's stressful and it's very difficult. And like, sometimes I'm like, you know, you have a mental breakdown. You're like, why am I doing this? Why did I push myself so hard? But then when you're not doing it, you're just depressed. So it's like yeah. a weird system, a weird situation, but I love it. But yeah. sometimes I don't. We're gonna try to do uh, world's largest hydraulic press versus a Lambo, see if we can squish it. Then we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna put a rocket on a car and see how many buses you can jump over. Um, and then world's largest elephant. Wow, two this is one that actually already came out. Yeah, because this was four months ago. Space, world's largest paper airplane. What's your biggest insecurity? Like world's our largest paper airplane. That's a fire video idea. That's a good fucking video. Very fast paced. A so big ass paper airplane. Sometimes you do have to give up a little bit of the story to, in, in order to keep the videos moving. Of anything, it would be that. Like a lot of people think. The only reason we get views is because I just That's a lot of trees. Yeah, no, I already know. Hey, guys, today we're doing... Hey, guys, today we're doing the world's largest paper airplane. And don't worry. We planted 40,000 trees to make up for this loss. Yeah, and they don't realize that, you know, we spent a decade... Yeah, but I can tell he loves his job. Just studying what does well. Um, you know, studying, figuring out our own style, figuring out our own way to do things. And that amount of hours I put into, like, just expanding the inspiration of my brain just so I can come up with original ideas and the, the like the months on months we spend building the sets and working on it and the weeks we spend editing and all this bro you and know the first thing he said to me when he met me I, it was along the lines of damn you're not yelling <laughs> like the first wow you're not mad like you're not angry like, you're actually just talking. <laughs> that was, like, the first thing he said. Fucking gang for the sub. Isaiah for the sub. Swifty for the sub. And, you know, they're just like, oh, that, he just spent money. That's it. That's There's nothing special. You know what I mean? That Speaking so of cool. which, yeah. you want to see where we store our money? Let's see. Almost every area of the internet points to YouTube. So I think YouTube's going to keep growing. It's mind-blowing. And you can leverage that to build businesses or, you know, like do things like Beast Philanthropy or Did whatever. Did you for real get invited by Mr. Beast? Well, you get invited by the crew, right? 
or, or like he he is not individual. You see, like he's talking about how many workers he has. He is a shitload of people that pull things for him. He might have chosen me as one of the people that he would have been fine with doing the video, but he did not individually contact me. His TikTok account follows me. That's what hit me up. Then I started talking to uh, like people that he works with, and I didn't actually speak to him until I met him in person. Avo for the 300 bets. Uh, do you think we should free Young Thug? I don't know. I think like people don't realize just how crazy it is. For us, we have 100 million people on average that watch almost everything we put up. Does that ever worry you that you have that much influence on so many people? We did team trees, we yeah. did team C's. Typically, Yo, did that kid? Hold on. around. So that kid that, that was spamming the shit out of what games do you recommend? I just bought a PC. I timed you out for eight hours. What games do I recommend? Valorant, League, Minecraft. Uh, I don't know. Outside of that. Like, just games that are on PC. You could just scroll on Steam, too. Story-based games, Dark Anthology. I'm still going to keep you timed out, though, because you spammed fucking what games would you recommend like 70 times. Do you think he's losing money or making profit? Making profit. If he was losing money, he would be bankrupt. Doing good, and... Um, no, actually, it excites me because I've had hundreds of parents, probably even a thousand at this point, tell me stories of like their kids watch that and then when they get tooth fairy money, they want to go donate to charity. Or like their little 12 year old kid wants to go volunteer so cool. because they watched the Peace Philanthropy video. No, I, I feel like we're doing a good job in inspiring people to, to care. And, you know, um, yeah, maybe it could be perfect, but in general, I feel like compared to other stuff, we're doing a pretty good job. Oh my gosh, we're about to hit one point or one. That is so fucking cool. That deadass moves with his fucking sub count. 103 million. That's, yeah. It's hard to say. So I'm curious on this one. How do you balance having a relationship? With my current girlfriend, she's actually from South Africa. So that is... Wait. Somebody redeemed headset and flex. I forgot he has a girlfriend. I remember him saying that he has to fly down there a lot. It is the hard part because I live in my I don't remember where I heard him saying that. It was in some fucking video. Studio. I don't really ever do anything fun and I work 99% of the time. So one thing is like, I also, I'm obsessed. Yeah, he doesn't have, I don't know how he's not stressed out. Damn, Jimmy, y'all think Jimmy smokes weed? Y'all think Jimmy, I was about to say, I was about to say this motherfucker must be stressed out. He has no free time. No free time. He's working 99% of the day. Fuck. Like, like, I, like, I would be pissed. I would be like, bro, like, I need to fucking do nothing. With learning, and so it was very important I found someone that also likes learning. So she loves reading books. She loves, like, experiencing things. So, like, I don't see, like, taking, like, an art class as a waste of time because that might creatively inspire me or, like, a pottery class or even going just and shooting. Just a fat fucking blunt. <laughs> You're just outside randomly somewhere in North Carolina. You see Jimmy just fucking on the side of the road just fucking smoking a fat doobie just like a three like an eighth fucking joint an eighth an eighth fucking blunt and guns or whatever some mm. some new thing just fucking sitting there just fucking just ripping that shit going uh, just fucking grunting and shit to himself just fucking mad as hell <laughs> uh, this gaming channel starting to piss me off that fucking tnt challenge didn't go as well as i thought it would Call for the five. You are hot and cute. Okay, that's kind of weird. That's how he gets his ideas. So, uh, usually it's like us... <laughs> He's smoking that joint. He's fucking halfway through a fucking eighth joint. Dude, what if we, like... What, what if we, like, made, like, a really big paper airplane? <laughs> Dude, like, no lie. What if we, like, made, like, a massive paper airplane? Like a really big one now. Doing something like that where in my head I'm learning something and I can kind of justify the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. To my like business obsessed brain self. So it's that. And that, and it's also good to unwind. Um, and you know, so you can actually go to bed at a reasonable time and not just lay there working in your head. To be a good business owner, don't you have to know like where every penny in your company goes or something like that? You would think. But yeah. you know what? If you hire someone else to do that for you, then. Ruber <coughs> Ruberos for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Ruberos Doodoo Stain, for the five gifted. Stop in the chat for that. Thank them if you got a set of thank you for the five gifted. It's like, you know. yeah. I just want to focus on making great videos. So, like, yeah. I'm not as, like, involved. Oh, this is pretty cool. Just a laser-like focus and obsession 
And it's just kind of what I aim to like implement in our videos. Because it's, yeah, it's just beautiful to see. Hey, you should subscribe right now. That, you know, a lot of people who wouldn't have done it because they just didn't think of it are now thinking about it. And it will convert to like 10 or 20,000. So literally just say it. Dude, it really does feel like a fever dream that I was in one of those videos. Like when, I, when that video comes out and we watch it, dude, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Like that's going to be nuts. Like I like it was so spontaneous too. Bro hit me up and he was like, or not even I don't even know if it was him. It was the TikTok account though. Hey, you want to fly out tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like literally was just expecting to chill. Next day I'm fucking on a plane. Shit was whack. Most spontaneous thing I've ever done. All right. Hold on. I got to go pee then we're going to do the next video. Now we're on we'll probably watch eh, we'll do the scary videos now. Hold up. We'll watch two. Let me pull up. Let me pull up this one. Uh, this one too. All right, these are good. All right, hold up. Evan for the fucking sub. My God. Where is the one mil sub YouTube video? It's not there for me. It's age restricted. If you are under 18 or not signed into your account, you will not be able to see the video. Uh, it got age restricted. All right. We have two videos. Which one do you guys want to start with? Love Potion? Wait, well... Uh, this must be the place or love potion. One or two. We're going to watch both. But we got to start with one. Bro said both. I already said we're going to watch both. Most people are saying start with two. All right, we'll start with two. Love potion. Everybody, wait, hold up. Let me scan the video. Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. Strap down here. We're about to get, we're about to get into the spooky, scary videos. We'll see how it goes. You said you wanted to talk. So, talk? I know. Thanks for seeing me. You look really great, by the way. Chris, I already told you. We're not getting back together. Damn. I just want to be friends. I know, Kylie. I was just saying you look good. I wasn't trying to get back together. Oh! Oh, what is that? A whole tomato on the fucking burger? My God, but he's got a head of lettuce. That's the biggest burger I've ever fucking seen. Are you kidding me? I said no mustard. I'll be right back. Love potion number nine. This is about to be the cringiest video ever. But he's pouring it in the McDonald's Sprite. Get it fixed? Yeah. I just wanted to tell you, I'm sorry. For the way things ended. Wouldn't 
that not even be real love, though? If you're giving somebody a love potion to fall in love with you, like, you're not actually ever going to feel that they love you because they only love you because of a fucking drug, basically. It wouldn't work that fucking quick. Is something wrong? Yeah. This is really good. <laughs> the turns here are never this good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his teeth are yellow as Mine's fuck. Really good too. <laughs> Yo, did he drink the wrong one? Nah. Did he drink the wrong one? Why was he going... Oh, nah, no. She drank the right one. I'm so sorry I broke up with you. Oh, God. Chris. Can we get back together? Yo, you know damn well. Is two inch here? Is two inch here? You know damn well two inch would pull this shit. You know fucking damn well. That motherfucker left. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I've never been more sure of anything. Ever. Yeah, okay. We can get back together. I'm so happy we're back together. Hold me. Nah, it's kind of weird, though. Kind of, Yo! Kind of hurting me. You're so handsome. You're just a good I never realized how handsome you are. We're gonna have the cutest kids. I'm thinking we should have 12. Like that cheaper brother doesn't move. 12 out. children? All right. All right. <laughs> Back it up. 12 kids. <laughs> 12 kids? Maybe like three. Max. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's get married. Are you sure? That's kind of a big commitment. Of course I'm sure, silly. <laughs> nah, she mad weird. I love you so much. Now buckle up. I know where there's a chapel that's open. Buckle up. It's like midnight. What fucking chapel is open? Going kind of fast. No, no time to waste. I don't want to spend another minute not married to you. What now? We're gonna be together forever. Kylie! Kylie! The Hook Man. Yo, we gotta watch that one. That one looks good as fuck. See? Told you Griffith would be empty. Hold up, got a scan. Me, 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 All right. This is nice. Actually, this is perfect. You're perfect. Cringe. Buddy got the kid cup. What, what is this, UK sizes? Come on, get an American large, buddy. Get an American large. What the fuck is that, an eight ounce cup? I'm gonna go uh, take a leak. Right now? Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, hurry. <laughs> bro, every time I leave, bro, that that's literally Brooke when I tell her I'm gonna leave the car. If I ever leave Brooke alone in the car, she immediately... The second I close the door, she locks the doors and turns the light on. <laughs> and then every, every time, every time I come back to the car, she goes, and, and <laughs> fucking every time, dude, she could see me coming and she'll go, fucking, and then she'll go, oh, and then she'll fucking unlock it. Bro, she's like ready, like ready for like, like death, like ready to fight someone to the death, like in that car. This is an emergency.
emergency alerts. A curfew is in effect for all residents of the greater Los Angeles area. A highly dangerous patient escaped from the state hospital earlier this morning. <laughs> Yo. Yo, if I heard that shit, I'd immediately just start driving. If I would never be standstill in that car. Best scene armed with a metal hook. Just in, eyewitness accounts placed the man's last known whereabouts at Griffith Park. Los Angeles Police Department urges residents to stay inside and lock all doors and windows. Nah! Oh, they got the manual lock, so it's over for that. Oh, God, they're in the fucking truck, too. Bro, just start driving. It's gonna be the guy. It's gonna be the boyfriend first. This is literally gonna be the Brooke reaction. Door's locked. Get in a hurry. What's got you all spooked? We need to go. What? We just got here. What was what? that? We need to leave. I'm just gonna go check it out, okay? I'm... No. You don't Take even it. know what it is! Oh my god, yo, it's yo, she's being an idiot. Yo, yo, literally, literally L girlfriend right now. We need to leave. Maybe say literally the second the second the boyfriend gets in the car. Psych ward patient on loose with hook in near park. Leave. We need to leave. We need to leave. Why? Fuck. Be home right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, he about to get his eye caved in. Bro's got no back on the truck. The hook, man. Bro's got baby fingers. He would not be Mind able to follow that. That was all about. There was a news broadcast. There's a She's crazy just now explaining it. On the ride home, they didn't even talk. On the ride home, they didn't even talk. It was just dead silence. I would have been explaining that shit the second he got in the car. And on the loose with a metal hook in Griffith Park. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like I made it up? I'm I'm not. Whatever, just let me out. Bro, it's the sound. It, like, it, like, I didn't even see what it was. It was that fucking sound. It makes me fucking jump. Holy fuck. I'm using that metal hook as my own weapon. Bro, that was, that was the end. That was the end. We ain't see anybody die. We didn't we see anybody die. We just see that motherfucker find the hook. All right, next one. This must be the place. Hold up, let me scan it. Description, because this one's long. When she seeks to join a group of low-end urban witches, Bonnie must decide how far she's willing to go in order to learn the craft, or their craft, and find a home. ILY for the 300 biddies. This girl is so fine, I would give her so many love potions. Okay. Evan for the sub. Bro, like, they're all good. Like, the last two we just watched, good-ass videos, terrible endings. The fuck?
Why is she harassing them? They were just shopping. Yeah, she looks like she's on crack. I want to do what you do. Right into the fucking face. I got another hand, don't I? literally beating the shit out of them like i'm not i'm not fucking having them oh fucking uh, 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 uh. yeah that's where i pull out a switchblade <laughs> I'm saying is if if that was me I don't know if I would let them treat me like that that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying if that was me me personally I don't know if I would let that slide what's wrong with her fucking hand Fucking, oh, oh, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead in that fucking room. Everybody's dead in that fucking room. I have no idea what's going on. They're just beating her. Bro, what the fuck? Did they kick her out? Was it like a test? I think it was like a trial. Like if she could take the pain, they would let her in. <laughs> Fucking stupid as shit. They can't talk? Yeah, that's what I'm realizing. They're, they're, they're not capable of speaking. Yeah. Yeah, fucking. Mm. Right into the fucking nose. Just fucking pound that shit. Like it's a fucking meat cleaver. Just flatten her nose. Wow, 
Wow, multiple thumbtacks here. Dumbass shit again. What the fuck is that? What is that? They still kick her out. Bro, is it like they, once they complete this, there's like an inability to speak or they just don't want to speak? believe in witches like i don't know but i know for a fact there's there's groups of friends in like high school that like think they're the shit and do this like fake this like i don't know but you know you know for a fact there's like a group of like there's there's actually a group of girls that that does this or a group of guys and they fucking and they fucking sit there and they go and then 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 I think there might be real shit like that, but not like, like this just seems stupid. Like, it's like they didn't even read like a witchcraft book, right? Like, I feel like they could have made this like real witchcraft type shit, but like they're doing these dumbass fucking, like, what are they fucking doing? Like, they could have made it more real. Like, historic. Oh, here we go again. That's not even cool witchcraft. What the fuck are you doing? Like, they could have done, like, actual witchcraft shit. Like, the fucking voodoo dolls or whatever. And fucking, like, uh, not voodoo dolls. What is it when they have, like, the little cursed bags that they'll put on people's shit? It's like a bag with stuff in it. And it's like a curse. And they could have done, like, cool stuff. A hex. Yeah, they could have done shit like that. What the fuck is she doing? Is this so they can just steal food? I would use it to, like, rob a bank. Not a fucking 7-Eleven. 
Like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you, I would rob, like, a fucking New York City bank. Bro, can they not talk, though? What the fuck? Yo, they literally could have made that so much better. Whatever. I'm about to read the comments. The simple yet powerful phrase, I want to do what you do. It holds so many layers of meaning. She wanted to have their power, but also wanted to feel what it was like to be mind controlled and do what the other person does. Absolutely loved it. The ritual at the table, her desperation to get into the team. Like, I understand they had the cool aspects of that, like, oh, the ritual and all that shit, but they could have made it better. The acting was great. So, so creepy and mysterious with no blood. Loved it. No spoken language was an excellent choice. Whatever. 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 All right, we're moving on. Or we're not actually moving on. We're ending. Bob and Gaze for the sub. That was the W fucking stream, chat. W in the chat for that. Appreciate everybody that came out in the stream. I hope you guys had fun watching. I had fun streaming. We had a great audience today. Great chat. Uh, and I had fun. I will be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Instead of 4.30 because it's President's Day. We're going to be playing Minecraft tomorrow at 2 EST. So I will not be live at 4.30 tomorrow. I'm going to be live at 2 p.m. EST for Minecraft. Tuesday I will not be live. Wednesday we're going to be doing uh, an FMV game or starting an FMV game. Thursday is going to be Unbanned. Uh, and then we're going to start slash finish the Trolley Problem game. Uh, next Friday is going to be un, uh, or next Friday is going to be React. Saturday, Police Sim continuing. And then Sunday, uh, more React. Exclamation point Discord if you guys want to join the Discord and send videos for me to react to. Uh, or games for me to play. We have a game suggestion tab and a video suggestion tab. Uh, you can feel free to suggest things in either of those. Uh, and yeah, we're going to raid Gutsy Aiden today. Uh, but I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had fun streaming for you guys. Uh, and I hope to catch you in future streams. I'm going to post on YouTube directly after this stream. So be there. Be square for that. Uh, should be good. Uh, or should be a good video. Uh, but yeah. Hope you guys had fun watching the stream. And I will catch y'all tomorrow at 2 p.m. for Minecraft. Uh, see y'all later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.